Hello everyone and welcome to The Gauntlet, audience interactive, Dungeons and Dragons, never ending combat chaos, where our adventurers are continuing in their never ending quest to defeat every monster of the multiverse. We're so happy you're here. Killboy Gaming, thank you so much for that subscription. Hey. 16 hey. months in the tavern. Pull up a chair. We are so happy you're here. Shady Scott sneaking in there as well. With <laughs> wait until we start playing. I did. I did say wait until we start playing. It's very true. It's math. Um, thank you, Shady Scott. 13 months. Um, I don't know who you're talking to. Who we're talking about? It was no one. It's no one. And also sneaking in there, Mallard Man. Thank you so much for the follow. Mallard Man. Anna Ball, thank you so much for that subscription. 30 months in oh. the tavern. Oh yes, you're right. Hello. Hello. Wow. That's a heckin' hype train. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> Choo -choo. <laughs> Inquisitor Meriden, you're not here, <laughs> but you have been subscribed for 21 months. <laughs> We're so happy, lads. Thank you so much, all of you, for your subscriptions. That's a heckin' hype train. So Sweet. if you are new to the Adventurers Pack, how hype it's trains tradition. work here, it is, it is. <laughs> how hype trains here work is uh, every bit tipped to the Adventurers Pack counts as one gold for our gauntleteers to spend at the shop. Um, however, during a hype train, they count for two, and they are currently saving up for a uh, 
I believe that everyone kept calling it a kegerator. Uh, <laughs> I called it a tap. But people kept calling it a kegerator uh, for their he- their healing potions. I mean, smoking dragon gaming. Thank you so much for those two hundred biddies. I think it's tap so is good like to have you. Far more sophisticated, and I think with what we're doing, like kegerator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I did just you know drop out of college with yeah. my like siblings, so like you know. Perhaps we could even get a stand for it. Oh. Go oh, fancy. Real fast to figure I'd say hello to some of the folks hanging out here. I see Dragon Dad. I see Witch King. I see Lachlan O'Leary. I see hey. I see Xanabug and Zagmeister. I see Smoking Dragon Gaming. Uh, I see Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Zarby. Hello, and thank you for those 200 biddies. It's oh. so good. Thank you so much. We see Killboy Gaming. We see Annabelle. Um... We see Inquisitor Meriden. We see Valise. Oh my so gosh. Friends. Hello. Oh, hi, Clever Foodie. So many delightful Great human crowd. beings in the Great chat. Yeah. It's a busy tavern tonight. Mm. Mm. I also love that it's a, like, we see. We see. We, <laughs> see. we do. We <laughs> see. We see. <laughs> you are watching. Do you watch us? We watch you. Yes, <laughs> you, Kevin, watching right now from your couch. <laughs> <laughs> Too many Kevins, I apologize. <laughs> Pretty good at, like, you know, pick of a name for that. I'm your Goblin Master, Evan. Hi, Evan. Tonight, for our players, we have RJ as Camber. Hey, I'm back. We have Josh as Wyatt. Let's hop into this nonstop romp full of chaos and combat. We have Carrie as Charlie. You always have to rhyme. Like, there's got to be a day when we just, like, sit down and teach you how to not rhyme. I'll try. And we have Scott as Stonebreaker. Good evening, Kevin. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) Thank you all so much for being here. We are 36% of the way to a level 2 hype drain, and we haven't even rolled any dice. So, I mean, we can. (laughs) (laughs) Just for fun. Everybody, Ah, warm them up. Warm up those d20s. I rolled a two on a d10 because it was the closest. Natural 20! (laughs) (laughs) Pack it in, let's go home. Yep. My only one of the night. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not rolling it because if, if I get a 20, right. that's my yeah, initiative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got an 18. <laughs> Listers made hello. We're so happy. Uh, clever foodie rolling a 24 on their enthusiasm. Nice. Hey, that's, is that's that good. it? Is it's that about what we're feeling. That it's a, a natural 20, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a crit. So. All right. I don't think we have any huge announcements today, which then just brings us to the returning sponsor of season two of The Gauntlet, it's Cantrip Candles, our favorite candles with a story. Whoa. Scott, please take it away. Walking through the farmlands, you grasp the iron key that your teacher had left for you. You aren't sure where he went or why. The letter that he left only said to take this key to the old barn by the field you used to train in. Passing through the field, you remember the countless hours spent with a wooden sword, the bruises from losing and learning from the old man, and always wondering why no one ever came or left the barn. As you turn the key on the lock on the massive door, a loud clanging of metal is heard from the other side. Odd. You push open the door, expecting hay and perhaps a cow or two, but not this. The wooden interior is more of an armory than a barn. Racks of elegant blades, bows, and armor reflecting the soft torchlight in the space. The large steel doors close behind you, its locks the size of you turning as if by an unseen hand. And a note hanging from the back in your teacher's writing catches your eye. You are ready. Make your choice. Adventurer's Emporium. Yeah! Yeah. Cantrip Candles, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, buddy. That was great. Literal shit. (laughs) Cantrip Candles are candles with a story. Each scent is for a specific location in uh, Dungeons and Dragons or any tabletop role playing game. The Adventurer's Emporium will give you hints of steel and leather and just have that sense of you get to choose something to take with you. 
whether it's a gift or maybe you have to purchase it. You can go check them out at cantripcandles.com to look at all of their scents. They are all soy candles, handmade here in Los Angeles. Absolutely incredible uh, company. And also, be sure to stick around until the intermission for your chance to win a $15 gift card. This is an international giveaway. Any one of our viewers can win it. And a big old thank you again to the continuing sponsor of Season 2 of The Gauntlet, Cantrip Candles. We absolutely adore them here. Thank you so much, Scott. And also, while that was in there, listeners, mate, thank you so much for your subscription. Eight months hey. in the tavern. Hey. And y'all, that was a heckin' hype train. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of math. Uche, Uche. Thank you all so much. Uche, Uche, for that. Yeah, hype train complete at level two. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so heckin' much. So all much right. Love. Adventures, mm -hmm. are you ready to re-enter the gauntlet? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, when last we met our heroes, <sighs> they had gone <laughs> so far mm. and taken so long. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't, didn't even really again, matter. <laughs> because they still didn't level up. <laughs> a quick announcement to everyone, actually, on that note, while we are heading on in, let me get the exact numbers pulled on up here. Um, our adventurers did receive their experience. Yep. Um, and I wrote it down a little funny here. Let me get the exact. Having received 3,350 experience each. Mm -hmm. Um I believe that puts us at a monster needs to sneeze for us <laughs> to level up. <laughs> it means that they are 98, per 98 points underneath leveling up. Mm -hmm. So all we're saying is once we kill one, we're fine with punishment. Yeah, that's true. We're all yeah. right with yeah. We need to kill less than a quarter of a month. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think well, one's going to have to Because it's going to be uh, divided oh, by four. Yeah, so, so we might as well okay, get a few right, extra so one, for good one measure. Monster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's more of how math works. Uh, uh, so so <laughs> math is always your forte. Yeah, um, I know. Having gone into a room that well on should have defeated them, and instead making it about halfway through, <laughs> <laughs> so cool. the world went dark and they fend themselves in a sanctuary. Woo-wee, what a ride. Canberra's just guy. sitting there. <claps> all right, guys, all right, everyone, that was incredible. I loved it. You were watching? Oh, yeah. I was taking notes. It was wild. It was, uh, it was quite... Quite a while. Back. <laughs> yeah, really I, I can't believe we uh, even pulled off what we did. I'm not quite entirely sure what happened. I was good. I was there. I was like shield up, ready to go, rearing, like full health, and then, and then I you woke got up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, those things were like four or five times your size, but you, you held your own. Way to go. I got smacked. That's how it happened. Real I just big remember smack. like bright light. Yeah, real. You know, poof. Real and big then boom smack. Here. It was a good trip, is what. Uh, I uh, learned a lot. Those adrenaline it. surges are coming out of the gate from Witch King 1 oh, and 9, just no. in case you wondered what those sounds were. Now, oh, I couldn't right. see from the angle where I was sitting. Uh, there's, there's, there's like some pretty sharp cliffs that drop off pretty, uh, pretty aggressively, if I recall. So maybe I can use that to our advantage. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. lots of verticality, lots of cover. Yeah. Lots of, lots of good vantage points. You pushed somebody off, right? So you went, and you went pew, right? I tried. Oh, okay. But they also, like, have a lot of range, so they can chill out up there and hit us just fine. Okay. So okay. that, and they hit really, 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 really hard. Excellent. Really hard. Extra. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll hit Again, first. I'm pretty sure I was fine and then pooped. <laughs> So it uh, would probably be a good idea to have uh, a couple of us take those who can focus on the ones who are able to hit that range, and then mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I will stick to ground as much oh, as yeah. I can. Yeah, those uh, the the bolt throwers were the no joke. Ones. Yeah, yeah okay. those were not. I'll try good. and bring them down first. I mean, I again, if they clump up, I can fire them up. Yeah, maybe we can try and rally them. Get, get a few. Around. Get a few. Like if we if we get them clumped and I can blow them. Yeah. They're, for sure. I I can maybe at least get like half down, or get some like the little goblins. Yeah, if I can get the jump on them and corral them, you know, like I did in the in the in the lava yeah, pit. That like, helped my, a lot. Like, yeah. With my spiky fields that slows them down a bit to give you enough time to go. Boom. 
Yeah, that was great when we did that last time. I loved time. it. It's that like the coolest trick in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, but they do seem to have climbing abilities. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm not so great at that. I kind of can. I sort of. If yeah, me and Nico can handle it. All right. Um, we'll take yeah, the high ground. They didn't seem to be immune to anything that I noticed. Uh, Stonebreaker, the strategy we adopted towards the end there, that was working pretty well for us, but I don't know if uh, we should go in that way or uh, save I, that as a last resort again. I agree. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, get you up uh, on top. Um, if you wish to stick with me for a short while, though, um, you know, at this point I am uh, no good until I get to one of them. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, speaking of, so, um, Camberg, you weren't here, but I don't know if you heard about what's in the store. There are these things that, like, you can throw and they, like, blow up. Whoa. And I was thinking, we didn't pick them up last time, and if uh -huh. we have the money, maybe we get some for Stoney so he can, you know, yeah, feel yeah, the yeah. contributions from afar. Okay, yeah, I'd like the sound of that. How, uh, how many times... Well, they're like one-time yeah. use things. Sure, yeah, but like, yeah. Uh, how, hmm, what's the so right question? 900 gold. Okay. 960 and gold. We, there's five of them. Uh, that's right, 960. It's 60 foot range, um, and does 5d4 force damage within a 10 foot radius. Oh, okay, so it doesn't. So like, it's not that bad. Yeah, okay. But also, actually, that, that 60 foot it could be difficult for me to maybe hit the things on top of stuff. However, yeah. uh, if I am, you know, first uh, bit of the time I am getting, trying to get close to the big ones, yeah. that right. 10 foot range uh, that could kill goblins on deck and just mm -hmm. start whittling or, down the numbers. I mean, that's all really Or do. if we yeah. position ourselves right and two people throw them at the same time, we can double the range. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, like if one person's on one, each side, two, yeah. and it makes it like a 20 foot <laughs> yeah, versus sure. a 10 exactly. foot? But then that's, well, I can't do the math, but that's a lot more gold we're throwing out. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. yeah so. We're if they sound really fun and really cool. I'm down to grab them. Uh, Stonebreaker, if you're worried about closing the gap, that's if that's a problem, that's that that 20 gold. That, if, you're, if you want the numbers. Oh, numbers are meaningless to me, but. Uh, Natural 20 there, Xanite. Um, but yeah, I do it, have a way to make you faster, Stonebreaker, using that ring of yours. That could be helpful for this this in particular. I am finding that uh, when I don't have the speed as maybe some of the other uh, friends that we have to close that gap, um, I, I suddenly become much less helpful. Right, and I, I see you run fast sometimes, but then you're winded, you can't hit anything. Exactly. So this would uh, allow you to move fast and make an attack. Now, I don't know how this works uh, with concentration. Make that check, Xanite Bug. If that's you making those con, con saves or me. Uh, this has happened to me before. I've felt uh, it attached to my brain. Um, mm. So it, it, is, uh, it seems to be me keeping this up. All yeah, right, I think well. whoever has that ring has probably got to well, that, that's For what probably it is worth, good, though. I, uh, though I am uh, not very good at uh, you know, casting spells on my own, um, once... I, I am very focused. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you seem like it. You know, that yeah. stony out exterior. Exactly. Of yours. You got the, the fortitude of the mountain, so exactly. I think you'll be all right. All right. Um, Real fast, I should let you know that you've been filled up with adrenaline surges, and Camber, oh, you are inspired. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Right. Thank y'all. Adrenaline. Um, so, do you want those or not? If we I mean, even if we just get you one. If uh, we are okay with picking one up, then maybe in case of emergency, then I uh, have it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like it's not that bad. Not a bad idea for you to have something. How much least. money do we have right now? Um, you know, I need to do a little bit of math because we did just have. Yes, some more money hype. just came in. Right, right. Oh, right. That's what all the cheering was. There yeah. was some cheering. So, Got some, um, some was benefactors so fun. out there. Some benevolent it benefactors. Should be about four hundred gold more than this. Um, all right. I believe you have. 7,492. Oh, okay. Well. We okay. So, so we can forward. Maybe we get two? Yeah, may, yeah. that way we can, just in case. Yes, yeah. and, and if for some reason we aren't uh, back here before we are able to pick more up, if it, it could be a good idea to have some for future use. Make yeah. that check, Animal. Then we can have two emergencies. Charlie, you are also mm -hmm. now inspired. That's true, yes. Ah. 
Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's a really good idea to get that. All right. All and again, that, the that. the mm -hmm. tap that we're getting, um, our keg that that according to Isri, correct me if I'm wrong, Isri is um we can like save up for that over time. It doesn't all have to be this month. So that's like, correct. if ah. we have other little expenses along the way, it's not gonna like go away forever. Gotcha. That's correct. So we can so. pay in installments ish or layaway or kind sa of, save or? up an installment. You can okay. continue to save up. So this cool. will it will okay. not be like um. The magical things. This is a thing that I will start to acquire more of the pieces of once you've it's a very, paid my employer. Very generous payment plan. I like I it. I think it's a good idea for we for us to pick a couple of those up and give them. Yeah, to sure. You, just yeah. in case, because cool. the rest yeah. of us have range. Some fine crackers. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Always fun. And if at any point any of you want uh, to have one, if I still have it, of course. Yeah. Well, sure. I, I am happy to give. I appreciate. I, I I think I'm good though. I I'm got range like. Cool. Speaking of, I think uh, we might have put uh, some extra potions in the co in the chest. Did we did we do that? I forget. We, I have two on me, so I don't, I, can't, I don't know if you're packing right now. Let me check. I think I gave one away last time, but um, I have one. I'm about and to I, say um, I may have marked this a little bit incorrectly. Did you buy the potions last time? We did. We did yes. I believe you did too. I, I okay. have uh, three. Yeah, I have you one. Have I yeah, have you, you, have any on me right now. you have two. Okay. And then I think we gave one to Fion. Or I two to Fion. Definitely did. Yes, I, yeah. so I think that is That's what all. we have. Right. Yeah, that was all Make of that check, smoking um, trick, and gaming. But, oh, also on the chest, though, I think, um. oh, oh, gosh, the owl. Oh, Astrid. Astrid? Yeah, yeah, I, oh, I met her for God. the first time. I think Isn't she left cool? you your, yeah, really cool. Really cool. Um, the bow that you loaned oh. is, I think, yeah. Got left back. She gave it back. Awesome. I think so. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I'll, she mentioned uh, she was going to. Okay. I'll go over to, uh, to the chest. you are now also inspired. Thank you. To the chest and crack it open. Um, surely. Um, if you do, it's Here. your bow is sitting in. Look at that. In the chest. All right. Now we're gonna have some fun today, everyone. I love it. <laughs> and Nico and I will slumber right. over. Um, in that case, how many of the beads of force are you thinking of picking up today? I think two. Uh, well, we'll start with two. We'll see two? Where, yes. how far right. that gets us, right? Oh, I also need some stuff. Ah, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt no, your no, transaction. No. Um, I'm out of snowball stuff. Oh, <laughs> certainly. Um, how much would you like to buy? Um, I don't know. I guess, like, can I do it in, like, groups of five? Certainly, it costs fifty gold or ten gold. I can't recall. Um, uh, I think it was fifty, but let me double check. Now you're having me question myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those moments. Uh, no, it was ten gold. It's ten gold. Yeah, I had a feeling that was it. All right, all right. Uh, and you wanted to buy five of them worth? If that, if you have that much. Certainly. I just feel bad asking often, so I figure, you know, it's do it It's certainly packs. probably easier. I have a fairly easy supply of getting these things. It's not um, super difficult to get or anything. Oh, okay. So this is not that big a deal. Um, thanks, thanks Cesar. Of I, course. I appreciate it. So plus just doing a little bit of math on how much you'll owe me. That will be 1,970 gold. Ring, ring. Um, Make that check, Zagmeister. I, I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'll just gonna go sit over by my cot in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It always smells so good when you do that ritual. You take a little bit of time, and Snowball has returned to you. Hi, ah, Snowball. Yay. Now, th now it feels better. Yeah. It doesn't feel quite right without him. During that time, I'd like to also um, put a expeditious retreat into Ooh. Stonebreaker's ring. Ooh, okay. And I will need uh, some time to re reacquaint myself with this wonderful short bow of mine. So if you don't mind, only mm. an hour to handle that. My thing's an hour, you too. You take an hour, too? Okay. Is it the uh, level one? or First level, yeah. Zagmeister succeeded on that roll, which means now everybody has inspiration oh, as well. Oh, all right. Stonebreaker, it took a little while there for you in the chat. There was some, uh... Listen, after the last week, it's, it, <laughs> I'm needing a lot. <laughs> um, All right. <laughs> like, I can use a break. <laughs> also, after uh, having time to look over this bead, 
perhaps we might want to consider more. Um, game? So, in addition to throwing and dealing damage, uh, it, they can uh, avoid the damage, of course, but if they don't avoid, the 10 foot radius becomes sphere they are trapped in. <gasps> oh! All right. For, uh, looks like a while. Um, oh, okay. Oh, and uh, that's heavy. also, um, if they're trapped in there, they can like push and it be like hipster and bowl. <laughs> um, Camber is. We can pick up the bowl. It will only weigh like nothing. No oh matter what is inside, it what? will be super light. What you're saying? I could like pick up an ogre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look super strong. Um. <laughs> That's a good deal. So that it, sounds like the recipe for a good show. In addition to you know, hurting thing, it will also take things out of the right. Yeah, yeah. parcel it away for yeah. another time. Exactly. Uh, that. Mm, ha, so ha, we bought two, right? Yes. Okay, so three more. There's five. If I. I yeah. So uh, it's and it's nine hundred and sixty gold each. It could be a good idea so to maybe buy you know one, maybe two 3, more, 000. and just have it so that we each have one. What the? That's not a bad call. What type of? What type of enemy should we use this on? Somebody who's kind of lumbering, or somebody who's uh, weaker, or lumbering. Okay. Here's likes things. Thank you so much for that subscription. Hey. Twenty six months. It's, hey. It l looks as though it, this is. No, um, they're heavy on foot. We got. Uh, yeah, you have to dive out of way okay. of the sphere. Okay. Otherwise. Would it boom. be good to use on something that's like? Well, you'd say it's kind of like me or whatever, like a spellcaster, where it, can they like cast spells outside the sphere, or would that like? No. Shut one down for it a little bit. Shuts down. Damn. That could be really helpful. Not that we've like experienced uh -huh. a lot recently, but we were experiencing a lot. No, but if somebody lot. is getting the better of us, and they are in that for one minute. Okay. Yeah. That's, wow. that's that. Forever. That could be really good. Fight. Yeah. Okay. What's the? Is the save your save? Whoever throws it, or is it a save on the like? It is. It is the the. The things. It yeah. will always be a. Dis DC 15 dexterity save. That's still that's pretty high. high. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, that's good. Okay. Right. This is something more and more like our kind of game. So. At first, I thought it was just little bomb, but like right. this no. is. <laughs> um, Izzy, how much gold do we have left? Um, 5,522. Okay, so it would be a little less than 3,000 gold to get the next three. It would eat up a good chunk. It would. Yeah. Maybe we just get one more, have three of them. Um, and we could have, because at, at this point you have range mm -hmm. for days. Always. At like the moment, if same. each of us have one, mm -hmm. because I I feel as though if you see enemy that needs to be locked down, you will be able to oh, yeah. kind of do your do that. Yeah. But with you, if you see enemy that is this needs to be locked down, could be true. helpful. Yeah. I'll take one. If, or we could also give one to Fion. When he comes back in, because he gets a little frustrated with range sometimes. Mm -hmm. A third That's one, true. I think, should be uh, should be purchased. We can strategize on where and how it is used. Um, maybe after we kick the bucket. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... And I do think that the, this is less of a, ah, we will definitely use this mm -hmm. as soon as, but more of a, oh, this is time. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this right. is something we think about. To save our butts okay, so, and turn the tides in our favor. So do we want to buy one more I think so. or two more? I'm comfortable with that. One, one more? more. One yes, more? Just one See more. how long it goes. Happen, we can always absolutely. restock. We mm -hmm. a couple um, more weeks. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do have a couple Certainly. more. Certainly. Mm. Or at least, you know, supposedly in this time thing that we experience. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of confused about time in this place. In this it's case, all a flat circle. I, I just let it happen, and I, I don't think too hard about it. It right. makes it much easier. <laughs> yeah. What do you think hard about, Stonebreaker? Hidden things? This question. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. All right, one more, uh, one more Be the Force, Isri, and I think that will conclude our shopping endeavors. All right. Right, and I will give you one of mine. All right, I'll take so it. So who's going to take the third? She very carefully, oh, okay. I'll take it. as this is happening, actually gets in a couple sets of, t like this set of lead tongs <laughs> and reaches okay. into a small leather bag and then takes another even smaller leather bag and just... <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. 
Nicely done, is three. Nicely done. Oh, we're gonna have them separated out. Absolutely, absolutely. She hands two to you, Stonebreaker, and one to you, Charlie. And then I piss back over to. Oh, my apologies. No, it's not okay. okay. <laughs> I lost track which bunny we were doing. No, I, no I, I'm <laughs> taking one. All the both bunnies are. It's like really? a magic trick. Follow the bead. Who's who's got the bead? The Cottonwood <laughs> twins both have beads. <laughs> All Turns right. out everyone loses when you find it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It, um, um, it won't explode in your pocket or anything. Um, it does sort of have to be activated, but cool. better safe than sorry Absolutely. in the transfer. Well, that's good. We do get knocked around quite a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, you have to. You do have to throw it. I will say, if you fall very far, I. I <laughs> it would sort of be sort of situational. Um, don't like that. Don't fall. If you fall more than 60 feet where you would be throwing it, um, if, when you come down because of the amount of force on you, don't fall on the bead. All right. <laughs> we'll try. Right. <laughs> Could you have imagined if I had done that last time? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel like couldn't have done it in the last room. Well, <clears throat> I'm sure there'll be one eventually where I drop you off a cliff that far, but uh. I shall leap 30 feet into air. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick feather You got the rabbit hop team. I haven't learned that one yet. <laughs> I, I, there's this uh, old sort of storytelling that I, have to, I believe it is called anime. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I understand the characters do crazy things and it would be wonderful to try that. I think I read a story about this anime. That's it. Yeah. That's well, it. it took forever. They just talked about all they were gonna do the whole time. There was a lot of filler. <laughs> yeah. That that was really in the the the, the Naruto <laughs> arc. Um. Anyway. I was more of yeah, a fan I of the agree, single piece. <laughs> uh, I'm I know about these go. hunter axes. <laughs> you know? That's all I got. Are you ready to re-enter? I think you I think so. Oh, I think I'm we good. are. Uh, I'm good. I'm ready. Good yeah. limba. We still have long stretched out. Yeah. I have snowball. Uh, oh yes. I'm Let good. me get you um snowball. Thank you. Of course. You want anything else in that ring before we go in there? Let's see. We have um, a healing word that is a little more health uh, helpful, um, and a the, the retreat. Expeditions retreat. You wanna. I you want a Zephyr Strike? You want to be able to get a dodge? Do you have extra? Yeah, or? sure. I'm fresh as fresh as can be. I'll take it if okay. you are happy with it. Yeah. I'll give you a Zephyr Strike. All right. Do you want me to give you a shield? Or give you something? I mean, I have four first levels, so I can give you first level. Again, I mean, if, if <laughs> <laughs> I will happily take anything that you feel as you though you have, but... Um, if we think it will be detrimental to what we're about to do. Uh, I think all that matters right now is the short game. So if we can... Mm. Uh, yeah, right now I'm thinking if we die, it's fine. Mm. As long as we kill one. Uh, uh, you know what? In that case, I will take shield. <laughs> That's why I was like, yeah. okay. we just cool. need to kill one. So I'm and just... And if you don't use it, you'll have it next time. So... That's right. true. So I might just hold on to all this. Yeah. Maybe I cast the healing word because it, it's full right now. That's true. Um, free up some two spots. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Again, though. If we die to punishment after we kill something, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we gotta clear that. To whoever <laughs> might be listening. <laughs> whoever might be listening. I am not a praying kill person. One thing. <laughs> Clever foodie, thank you so much for that subscription. 13 months! Yay! Yay. One year. In the tavern. Look at 13. We'll pull Ooh. up a chair. We are so happy you are here. Let's go thank kill you something. so much. Mm -hmm. All right. As you run back to the door, and once again, you feel the sharp, cold, dry air hit you straight in the face. Bug has focused Stonebreaker, adding plus one to your next attack roll. Kill it. <gasps> and you find yourself once more in the mountains. For the sake of the audience, if you were not here last week, we have here these. The Close giant <laughs> muscular ogres carrying a giant ballista in front of them with a stack of near log shaped arrows next to them. Hold well, on, that was a card that just went down that I missed. One quick second. Oh. Mm hmm. I was like, oh, 
Camber, you have been focused. Thank you. Adding plus one. All right. By Xanai Bug, specifically, I should say. All right. Um, you also have here, towering above, I'm going for where my mouse is, 10 foot tall ogres, this time with a tent like structure latched to their back, and several goblins cackling over the side. I need everyone to roll initiative. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> let's go. All right. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> That was buffer last time when we were Our all like... Our a cheeky monkey. The next chaos wheel of the timer will last for double. All Nobody right. gives me a plus one on my initiative. <gasps> Charlie. Uh, I rolled a 14 for a 21 initiative. Whoa! Ooh. Rolling a 21. All right. Wyatt. Uh, I rolled 10 for 16. Rolling excellent tonight, Camber. Uh, 13 on the die means me and Nico are at 16. Right. All right, and Stonebreaker. That will be an eight for an eight. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, and Snowball mm-hmm. um, It's just plus dex, right? Yes. I ask this every week. One time I remember. Uh, roll the 19 for a 20. Is this okay. Snowball? <laughs> <laughs> well, Charlie, that does make it your turn. Go, um, go. Oh, uh, real fast, actually, White and Camber, what are your respective dexterities? We both have a plus three to our dexterity scores. Can um, we have a quick roll off then? Oh, sure. Oh! Yeah. Uh, straight straight roll off! Yep, straight, straight roll. Straight roll. Okay. 18. 15. All right, Camber will be going first. I'm good with that. Okay. Hit or stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's where, where did Snowball end up? Uh, snowball's a 20. Okay, cool. So Snowball's, I'm assuming, right after me. All right, cool. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, this, like is, this, this is a good setup. This is a good setup. Yeah. I'm kind of happy right now. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, all right, so my turn? It is indeed. All right, so hopping on in, immediately spinning around in a pirouette. And as I spin, saying, hey, Camber. Hey. Coming back around as I cast Blade Song on myself. All right. Get my AC pumped up. Um, and then I'm going to... Started off with, oh, are they really that far apart? <laughs> oh, no. It hits all of them. <laughs> um, I am going to finish in the spin, pulling out a little of the black gunk in my, in my little component pouch, okay. spinning around in my hand even further. I'm going to chuck it. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, come on. Sometimes it likes me hitting things. <laughs> right there. And that hits the yellow one, the three goblins, and the thing it's on. Okay. The yellow ogre, uh, bolt launcher, this one right here. Yeah. And these ones right here are hit. Uh, Correct? Oh, yeah, I guess I can do those. I was doing the, the ones in front, but yeah, those work too. We're hitting with a fireball? Yep. Can you ping it for me one more time then? Just make yeah. sure that I'm giving you maximum hits. Oh, right, yeah, actually, that could be potentially more hits. So that's yep. right here. Okay. That's a 20 foot 20 radius. radius spear. Okay. Nice. But I assume that the dude up top was too high up the ledge? Yeah. Because if I did it like 10 feet in the air, it'd be. It, yeah, it'd be it'd kind be of. Still too high up Still it. too high. Yeah. But. You can get everyone there on the ground. Absolutely, okay. you can. All right, cool. um, the goblins have. Let me double check. If it's three quarters of half cover. Three quarters cover. So they are going to have advantage on this saving throw. All right. So let's do. We've got two yellow goblins first. Okay. It's gonna be a 13. Fails. All right. Oh, they're all yellow goblins. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the uh, Howda. Howda. Natural one. Oh, Fails. Nice. And the yellow ogre. Coming in with a 15. That just saved. Okay. okay. But so only one of them. Of the, oh, no. You got two more to do? 
Oh, no, no, I did all the goblins. Oh, okay, so only one of them saved? Uh, yep, only the uh, bolt launcher. That's crazy hot. <laughs> okay, uh... Not great, but 26 points of fire damage. Right, well, it clearly takes all of the goblins. You just <laughs> see it. For some reason, all of them actually, when they saw the fireball coming, peeked up, <laughs> not <laughs> down, for whatever reason, um, and seemed to actually, you just see all of them go, last second, <gasps> before Master flame. all of them <laughs> fall off. Nice. You see ash falling off of the side of the howdah. Nice. All right, and one more time. I'm so sorry. I had got distracted with goblin death. How many points was that? It was 26. Six. 26. Mm -hmm. oh, almost said 26. Yeah. I 26. knew there was a six on there. I wanted to make sure that was 26. Okay. Yeah. And then so for the bolt launcher, that's going to be 13. Okay. Damage, damage. Okay. Um, uh, and you see the big howdah just shuffling really quickly trying to get all of this off and he just turns enraged looking at you. Um, and then seeing what happened last time, I don't like being semi in front. So I am literally just going to hop over here. Okay. Behind <laughs> Stonebreaker, mm -hmm. duck down and be like, protect me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Snowball. Um, and then who's after me again? Potentially next. everybody. No, no, no. Next. <laughs> it's potentially me, but I don't know if. Okay, any of the so other then enemies. I'm gonna have um, snowball circle on over <clears throat> and start flooding around Camber, be like ready to help you out. All okay. right. Make your aim true. Cool. Speaking of which, Gamber, it is your turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to peek down at Nico by my side. Be like, all right, buddy, we're back in the fight. Yeah. Got fresh legs and a fresh set of eyes. Let's go. <laughs> um, and I will. Is this a tree in front of me here, GM? Or it is surely that... is. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was just a patch of snow or something. Okay. Yeah, there are several of those um, mm -hmm. further um, to, the north, looks to like. the north, right yeah. about okay. there. I'm five. going to advance 5, 10, 15, about 20 feet here. Okay. Um, and Snowball's uh, help gives me advantage on one attack or both? First attack. First attack? Okay. Yeah. Um, I would like to use my bonus action to uh, once again engage the uh, sigil on my cape as a giant flaming fist is going to spin across the, about the arena and uh, plant itself right in the square face of this... Uh, Ogre bolt launcher down right. here. <laughs> um, and as it lands, a, a glowing ring as I cast, uh, well, a bit uh, emerge above its head as I cast Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. Ooh, gotta get five feet closer, actually, get in range, and I will draw my dragon wing short bow and fire two shots at it. All right. This will be at advantage. Hunter's Thanks Mark coming out. Mm -hmm. 26. Um, take each of your things. No, That's a natural 20, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to be dirty. Okay. Um, oh, so we got piercing. I got piercer feet, so that's an extra D6 damage. Uh, Nico's going to infuse this with some lightning. Okay. Uh, I got the poison from my bow. Come on. Um, okay. And since you fought these monsters before, I'm going to tell you, just add it up. All of them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just add it up. Okay. Piercing, crit. Hunter's mark. Poison, lightning. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be wild. <laughs> I love hearing the sound of all those dice. Okay. Welcome in Stronghold D and D. Okay. Okay, do um, you need me to break it down? No. Okay, cool. Uh, because you have fought these monsters mm -hmm. before, I don't mind telling you, you can just <laughs> <laughs> hit it. Lay it on me. 
lot of math. It's a lot of math here. Come on. Oh, math is brought to you by Cantrip Candles, the returning sponsor of season two of The Gauntlet. Candles 54 the points. <gasps> Woohoo! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Camber, uh, <laughs> you managed to hit him right here through the chest. And as it goes through, you just see it just shoot through layers of muscle and fat and maybe even a little bit of bone. And you see a giant splurt of red blood. This thing is immensely hurt. Let's attack again. Okay. <laughs> that was the first shot. Finish him off. Woo! Come on. That was a lot of sixes and fives. <laughs> um, that will be a... Oh boy, uh, six on the die, but I got a decent bonus. One second, y'all, thank you. Um, a 14 to hit. A 14 will hit. Okay. Yes. Uh, so that will be piercing, yeah. acid, and hunter's mark. Eight points of piercing, yes. mm. two points of poison, f uh, plus another four for hunter's mark, so. More than enough, as this one actually manages to go kind of through his cheek here and up out through the other side of his skull. The light behind his eyes vanishes and he disappears into ash. I'll just look back at, uh, at Charlie and be like, thanks. <laughs> no problem. Um, Nico then, mm -hmm. um, who's not on the map yet, GM. Oh, uh, my but I'll give you, but No worries, it's gonna be simple. He's just going to give me two seconds. Uh, run to 30 feet towards uh, to the northeast of me. Um, okay. And he will take the dodge action. All right. Oh, come on, computer, work with me here. Good work. Yeah. That was All right. Great. We killed our thing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Let's kill one That's more. Crown felt like, huh? That was crown yeah, damage. That was a big, that was a big crit. <laughs> that, was that was awesome. A crit. <laughs> that was really awesome. Oof. Good job. All right. Nico is now with you there. Thank you. Of course. Okay. And you were going to put him, you can put him where you Yeah, just right about there. Right about there, That's taking the dodge want. action. Excellent, okay. Yep. All right, that then brings us to the yellow goblins, of which there is one remaining. <laughs> 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 um, Charlie the Goblin Killer. That's good too. Wyatt, he takes a knock and aim at you All with right. his short bow. Ooh, it's a 19 on the die. Um, Ooh, that's, that's gonna hit. Yep. Yeah, it's a 23 to hit you. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be seven points of piercing damage. That stinks. And uh, after that, you actually see him just duck down and go Nyeh! as he hides. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> kind of hard to see that goblin down there and all the chaos, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what I will say is that you kind of know where that goblin is, but he cannot be targeted right now. He's, you can't see him. All right. So I'm, I'm not gonna make him invisible because he's on the howda and I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so far you can go, but he is not targetable at this time. Cool. Okay. Um, that then brings us to the howdos. All right. Camera, the one nearest you, mm -hmm. just looks together and just pounds Oof. his fists together in front of him, and you hear this clang off of the plate armor in front of him as he runs right up to you. Oh, boy. Yeah. And brings one of those fists down. It's only a two on the die, though, so that is not going to hit. Okay. Woof. All right. That's how to the first. <laughs> the purple one, shed of its companions. <laughs> brings himself right there and seems to be holding his arms up. The red one mm -mm. <laughs> I 
every time. Pierce likes things since I'm feeling lucky. My next roll is oh, okay. a high variance. Uh, well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And move right there. All right, that's the how does, which then brings us to the bolt launchers. Mm. Quick question, Annie. Yes. Uh, Camber and I had the same initiative. Oh, my apologies. Yes, why? You go now. <laughs> cool. Not to interrupt. No, you're the flow all good. Here. Clever Foodie is giving Camber <laughs> a random potion. It's okay. Hey. I had a better system for this, and I kind of broke it down, so that's it's my fault. It's all good. You know what? I'm in a better spot now, because I, I let them go ahead of me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I will take it. Well, y'all are on fire, so we, we might as well keep this going here. Let's keep up this lucky streak. Uh, what's another word for pain? As I say that, a spiritual weapon appears in the form of a massive thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get that out uh, for you. It's coming up actually uh, right behind the howda, the purple howda. Right behind the purple howda. Yeah, You've like got right, it. like diagonally Perfect. behind. One more space down, if you will. Absolutely, I will. And then I will give you control of this token. All right. Rolling to hit with that spiritual weapon. That's not very good. All right, what's that attack? It's only gonna be. We're full on adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> yep, you sure are. Burn it all. <laughs> okay, burning it all. I, uh, I rolled a two on the die. Oh. For a total of nine plus six is 14. Okay, a 14. A oh, 15. Well, yeah. Okay, okay. good. Yeah. 15 hits. Nine, I was about to say this is about to be training. Uh -huh. right. 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1. Uh -huh. we, yes. We've covered this, man. <laughs> 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 Vocabulary Vocabulary uh, is, is I beat him over the head with the thesaurus. The thesaurus. Uh, All right, roll uh, that damage. It's going to be 1d8. Just picture this like a old comic book fight, <laughs> like bam, thump, <laughs> ow. <laughs> yep. uh, that's going to be seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Pierce likes things is giving you another adrenaline surge. Right, okay. Thank you, Pierce. All right, and then uh, we're just going to dance our way behind <laughs> the dancer here <laughs> as we shoot out two more Eldritch blasts at the same howdy there. Okay. First one's going to be. Uh, an 11 to hit. 11 Likely does not it. hit. Next one. Another 11. Wow, my luck is faded. Good thing y'all are on a hot streak. That's going to be all it for right. me. All right. It's now, all right. Uh, now we'll have the bolt launchers go. Sorry about <laughs> no, that. That's, that was my, no, that's literally <laughs> my fault. Um, okay. For the sake of the audience, as a reminder, this map is also tilted slightly. Um, and Ball thinks why it's feeling lucky. Your next attack Ooh. is going to be made with high variance. That having yeah, been said, Stonebreaker is still no. providing a hell of a wall between Wyatt <laughs> and this particular <laughs> bolt launcher. Oh, yeah. Meaning that Thank its you. attack yeah. is coming to you. Cool. That's an eight <laughs> on the die. As you see, a bolt the size of your sword just go flying just straight past your face and land <laughs> in the ground to your side. Last time you were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lucky, lucky this time. Mm -hmm. well, I'm down here. One. <laughs> Trigon on the tree. Clever Foodie is giving white adrenaline surge. Oh, and I need Thank to actually make this roll with high variance. Oh, no. This one is coming to Stonebreaker. Mm -hmm. Trigonometry. Cool. It's a three on the die. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was the blue one's shot. I could, could take me out. Oh, hold on, we're... It did last time. <laughs> one of my... Um, Clever Foodie wants to spin the wheel of chaos on Stony B. Stony B. Listen. Wanna blow up? As a reminder, there is a chaos <laughs> monkey in play. Round and round, this wheel is about to go. Where it's going to stop, we're about to find out. What you got, buddy? Speed exhaustion. Oh, no! 
I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> cheeky monkey? Yeah, cheeky monkey was in play. Oh. Oh, no. How long am I, and how many levels of exhaustion is this? One level. Okay. What's for one level? minute. That's not bad. Dead. One level for one minute? Okay. Okay. We're good. We're we got it. We can overcome. Uh, we can I am overcome. realizing that somewhere along the line, roll 20 deleted one of my bolt launchers. So my apologies, everyone, real quickly. <laughs> oh, I need to just put one back where it should have been. It's not the killed? Oh, I see three. it's the one you killed. That's exactly what yeah. it was. Yeah. <laughs> it Amber wasn't. deleted that yeah. one. <laughs> you deleted it with force and precision. Yeah. That's quite correct. <laughs> <laughs> fine. I was sitting there like, wait, it's really, that's right. There was already, spectac it was so spectacular. It just yes. deleted it from existence in its entirety. Just casually gauntlet master. I'm going to put it back. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, but screw but you also, all. Uh, glitch. <laughs> I will say, though, this last one is going to come in and attack you. Yep. Doing the math. I think it can get to you. All right. That's a 19 to hit. No hit? This is a ranged attack? It is. Okay. Are you going to try to catch it? Yeah. <laughs> I will say he technically can't. Yep. It is big. Yep. But <laughs> the magic is strong there. Holy cow. He knows this is happening in advance. Uh, that is going to be... <laughs> Meth. Thirteen points of piercing damage. As it flies my way, I hear it whistling through the air, and I literally put my hand up, and with the full force of my tricep, smack it out <laughs> as I roll thirteen uh, reduction <laughs> on, that, <laughs> on that roll. And literally just... <laughs> Just planted in the ground next to me, and I just stare him down. I'm like, you're my next, buddy. You, he doesn't seem to really understand <laughs> what you're saying. But you do notice he understands you hitting his bolt out of the air. Wait, do they speak giant? I speak giant, so I'm going to try shouting that in giant. Okay. <laughs> As you do, he then just hits his hand Woo! on the ground very loudly <laughs> and goes, you're tiny. We'll hit next time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I can't remain some friends. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call that. Mm -hmm. Friendship. Stonebreaker, it is your turn. Fantastic. Well, um, I am going to start things off and use bonus action to cast uh, uh, Expeditious for Retreat. Yes. Nice. Um, so then uh, I believe that means, in addition, I take dash action on this turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. <laughs> So I. As as you do, you just suddenly feel your hand cast this spell coming out of your hand. Feather ring just starts to vibrate a little, in a way that almost normally you'd associate with being out of control. But in this moment, it just feels like more control. So dash will get me here. Regular okay. movement will get me here. Okay. And I would like to attack uh, this big howda. Um, Okay. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the how do you do, Stonebreaker. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, we got our fair share of those last yeah. year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, okay. On that first attack, that will be an 18 to hit. So an 18 will hit. And that is going to be it's hard to 11 points of slashing damage. Really okay. <laughs> Second attack Ooh. is much higher to hit. <laughs> For nine points of slashing damage. Okay. Nice. And I have it. I uh, got it. So I smoke it. Uh, action surge. Two more attacks. Woo! Get it. Uh, woo! I will use one surge to make that a 16. Okay. A 16 just hits. Well, hits. For uh, 15 points of slashing damage. Come on. Oh, kill it then. And last one is... Uh, 24 to hit. Okay. For 11 points of slashing nice. damage. As you come up to this creature, it's very tall. You're not much shorter. <laughs> <laughs> and you just keep laying into this thing and you find yourself 
in a pattern where your muscles are just bringing this sword over and around and through over again. It is real hurt. Real hurt. Okay. That is my turn. Okay. Um, and also, real fast, I saw that error there with the stream loots. My apologies, folks. I think that actually was something that was on our end a little bit. I think I may have gotten it sorted out. Let me know if it starts to work. Okay. That then brings us to the Red Goblins. <laughs> um, okay. All right, whom, which are all alive. So... We're going to have one shot coming at Camber and one shot coming at Stonebreaker from the top of this... Howda. Oh, okay. Stonebreaker, the one coming at you is an eight to hit. Love that. Camber. Mm hmm. Only a five. Oh. Um. Yeah. This is a treat. Realistically, the remaining two can really only hit the two of you again, so I'm coming to you, Camber. Okay. That's only a ten. And to you, Stonebreaker. Cool. At 11, as the goblins seem a little bit intimidated by how close you are and how much damage you just did to the howdah and are kind of shooting just wildly <laughs> up into the air. <laughs> Nothing happens. Um, so that's their turn, which brings us back around to the top. Charlie. Um, all right. So this, uh, how's the purple howdah look? Purple howdah? Um... That per that one's the one that got hit by the fireball. Yeah. It's been smacked a couple of times. It's singed, still moving. Singed, but still moving. And then, how's the one that Camber and Stony are wailing on? Uh, Stony just wailed on that one. All right, might as well go for the one that's being wailed on. Um, I am going to. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire, bolt. <laughs> <laughs> That one. Okay. Uh, 19? 19 will hit. I just forgot how the D10 look like. How many years? <laughs> <laughs> I was literally like, I don't remember what that looks like. Uh, all right. Uh, that's 13 points fire damage. Which is exactly what you needed nice. in a hilarious <laughs> turn of events. <laughs> uh, as the howda starts to fall towards the ground and turning into ash, you see the goblins just looking at the oncoming guards going, ah! <laughs> Give me a quick sec while we roll some dexterity checks to make sure if any of them land on their feet. So far, so good. Now they roll well. <laughs> Okay, uh, one of them, the red and orange one, not so much. Uh, the red and orange one goes flying and is prone. But the rest managed to make it. Okay, just kind of land. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, oh, and then bonus action. Pull out my paw. Smoke's going to flutter up it as I cast Shadow Blade. Okay. Nice. And then I'm gonna move over here. Okay. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna move right there to try to help uh, Stony out with the cleanup crew. Okay, all right. Now, of course, I'm sure you kind of figured this out, but just for the sake of the audience, this is very bright light. Like, the way the light is bouncing off of the snow, it's Oh yeah, it's uh, it's not here. for that part. It's for oh, the I know, of it. it's more for the Oh okay. This is an educational the show. <laughs> um all yeah. right, is that your turn then, Charlie? Uh yep, that's my turn. Bring us to snowball. And snowball is going to Seeing as I'm still right there, it's just gonna kinda start fluttering around me and help me out next turn around. Okay. Camber. All right, so to clarify, GM, me and this yellow boat launcher are, are uh, best friends right now, right? That's the one Oh, that's I... the one you, is that the one you moved your hunter's mark to? No, no, that's the, is that the one that shot me? I, I'm trying to, 
Uh, it was the pink one that shot at you, as a matter of fact, actually. Pink. This bad boy. Do not s Oh, way down there. Sorry, yeah. I forgot. Okay. No, you're good. That one, swing and a miss, that one. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, then I think what I would like to do... I will, yeah, I will bonus action move my Hunter's Mark to that bolt launcher. To the yellow one? Yep. Or the pink one? To the to the pink one down there. Pink one? Okay. Yeah, he and I got it out right now. Um. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. I respect it. Bam. I will use... Oh. And as a reminder, these towers are about 40 feet tall. Oh, boy, then. Okay. All right, I'm going to run then... 5, 10. Have a good night, Xanite. 15. Yeah. Night, Xanite. Uh, let's go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet here. Okay. And I think that should put me in range with the short bow. What's your range on a short bow? 80 Shoot. feet. 80 feet? I'm going to say I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, Pierce likes thing is given Stonebreaker a random potion. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Actually, I have one, too. Would you mind handling Let me Let me actually grab a ruler. There you go. Thank you. Trigonometry. Trigonometry. Zagmeister's a cheeky monkey. I have 10 more feet of movement left if you think yeah, I should get closer. I'd say it's not a bad idea. OK. I'll do that, then. I'll go here. Yep. Um. You know what? Yeah, that I will. Yeah, that's definitely good. OK, cool. Uh, yep, and I will fire two more arrows at him. Okay. Let's see if we can fish for another crit. Oh, that's got it. Which uh, king one of mine has played a Lord of Chaos? Oh, boy. Oh, All right. Yeah. Okay, let's finish up that attack that you just um, That is a 16 on the die. Okay. Um, Nico is not close enough to infuse this. Um, so that will be... 11 points of piercing, 2 points of acid. Sorry, okay. Poison. Yep. As that happens, you see a giant wheel just descend <laughs> from the sky. <laughs> what do we got? Kim, but the wheel got? spins first for you. As a reminder, there is a cheeky monkey in play. Oh, yeah. High winds. Oh. <laughs> okay. As you are we moved one. back 10 feet. Don't hate that, because I just realized that there's the <laughs> <laughs> the how does in front right next to me. Okay. Okay. Vulnerable. Oh, oh no, and it's just a Sorry. It Ouch. is. So for the next two rounds, yeah. you are vulnerable to all, all right. damage. Okay. It's all right. Just stay out of the way, what? Charlie. Yeah. Oh round and round the wheel does go. <laughs> where it's about to stop, we're about to find out. Raining gold. Hey! 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 All right. We'll get with, we'll take it. We'll get that timer up and running. So for the next 10 minutes, all bits tipped to the adventurer's pack do count as double. That's a calculator, <sighs> not a clock. Ah, nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as a reminder, you never have to feel obligated to give us anything. It is always out of the kindness of your heart, but it does keep the lights on, the cameras running, and us in these seats. And we are very grateful to all of you. Annabelle, thank you for those 200 bits. Thanks, Annabelle. And all gold tipped to the adventurer's pack does count for double during uh, raining gold or during a hype train. So thank you all so very much. And um, we've already had a hype train today. Do we reroll? We reroll if we already did a hype train, haven't we? Uh, typically, it is if we already get the raining gold. Hype train is its own thing. You're right. You're right. All right. And Zagmeister, thank you for those 100 biddies. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. All right. <laughs> Let's get them. We just have one more reel to run. Come on. <laughs> Blow up? <laughs> Punishment? Punishment? Charades. Uh huh. What's charades? <laughs> is this me. new? <laughs> uh, yep. This is new. It is. Yeah. That's Are we exactly not allowed what to it talk? sounds like. No stony isn't. <laughs> 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 oh, on you, that would be hilarious. Yeah, that would be hot. <laughs> 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 so, for With the next monkey? round, no, Cheeky no, Monkey oh, right. is on yeah. roll, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> so, Stonebreaker can only <laughs> only speak in gestures. 
<laughs> He's always been the strong, silent type anyway. So. <laughs> For Man the next round. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you all so much for that Lord of Chaos. <clears throat> Pierce likes things to give him light and adrenaline surge. Thank you, Pierce. As a quick reminder, Camber, you have three and are mm -hmm. inspired. Charlie, you have three and are inspired. Stonebreaker, awesome. you have two and are inspired. Wyatt, you have two and are inspired. All right. all right, everyone. Camber, you have one more attack to go. I do. I will take it and fire off at the same guy that I'm focusing down. Okay. Um, that will be a 19 to hit. A 19 will definitely hit. Uh, that will be 11 more points of piercing and three points of poison. Four points? Three. Three. Okay. Pierce likes things. Thank you so much for those thousand babies. Oh my goodness. It's so Thank delightful you of you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it, Pierce. All right. Um, that'll be our turn. Nico. Mm hmm. Um, you can't take instruction from me, but he can still move on his turn, so he's going to look around and I think he's smart enough to run and grant flanking to uh, Charlie. Um, so. You know what, Zarby, thank you for those 50 biddies. Here's what I'm gonna say about that. Sure, yeah. Since you can't give him direction, okay. give me a, I will allow this to either be wisdom or intelligence based check. Okay to see if he is smart enough to do that. Come on, Nico. He is wiser, so this will be a wisdom check for him. Okay. Ooh, that's a seven, so I a don't seven? think that's gonna be enough. Uh, not quite. Uh, he does, however, kind of run up here and get him within chomping range. Okay. But yes. Okay. Um. Would you allow him to make an attack or? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Sure. That's let's... kind of his, I would say that's his default okay. direction. Okay, cool. Let's make that attack then. Come back here. 18 on the die. So That'll then, do. Yep. And he's gonna infuse this with a little bit of lightning. Okay. Oh, not great. That's a uh, four points of piercing and three points of lightning. Which is exactly the amount oh, of these goblins. Oh, yeah, had. yeah so. buddy. <laughs> I think we broke the curse. Yeah. <laughs> he just chomps down and grabs the goblin like straight here and just shakes a little bit, and the goblin just dissolves into ash and he goes back. That's my boy. <laughs> All right, that's us. Okay, all right. All right, now your turn. Wyatt. All right, Wyatt's just going to keep focused on uh, the, the howda as he says, to suffer affliction and torturous agony, resisting this torment is literal blasphemy as he hits with another attack of the spiritual thesaurus. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, and this is with that high variance die. It is. Zagmeister, oh, nice. thank you so much for those 303 <laughs> biddies. We appreciate you. Oh, my gosh. That's a three on the die. Oh. <laughs> and hilariously, we're close to another hype train again. You absolute gremlins. We are so grateful <laughs> for you. Uh, resistant to learning, you might be. So let's drive home the lesson with two Eldritch Zings. Ooh. All right. Ooh, okay, that's a 17 to hit on a the 17 first will one. definitely hit. For 10 points, force damage. Okay. On the howder there. Uh, keeping him where he is, no uh, repelling blast here. Second attack is a natural 20. Yeah, buddy! Love it. All right, well, you're rolling up those. We got four and a half minutes left on that, on that raining Nine. gold. We on are so die. grateful for all of you. That's 21 points of damage, Gauntlet Master. That's enough. Nice. That's what I like to hear. As he falls to the ground as Zagmeister, in fact, wants to spin another Wheel of Chaos. Uh, oh. And I it went away right as I was seeing who he was rolling it on. Uh, Wyatt. Yeah, right. You. I'll take it. Yeah. Chat's fishing for it. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Mm -hmm. We instructed. They listened. Mm -hmm. Punish me, punish me, punish me, punish me. <laughs> I've been a bad rabbit. <laughs> 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 I 
in Greece delay. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh nay, at the bad oh, thing. Oh, man. For you, that might be worse than punishment. That is, like, actually, like, the bane of your existence, buddy. Yeah, I was about to say, I think, uh, I think maybe you were. Oh, man. Oh. How does that feel, I mean? How does that feel to see that pop up? Real, like, real good. Great. Real good. <laughs> I weighs LSJ of a own breaker stand. <laughs> <laughs> How do you prepare for this? Wyatt, is that the end of your turn? I may as a L way E bay. Wait, yes? Might as yes, well be. Might as well be, yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> that oh, brings oh. us. Uh, oh, it's okay. 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 <laughs> Oh. All right, <laughs> that brings us to the yellow goblin, who is a little bit too close to stab you, Stonebreaker, so is going to continue to shoot at Charlie. Hey, what's up? Yeet. <sighs> Yeet it on a natural 22. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, that's an 11 to hit. You missed. Oh, yes. Thank you, <laughs> I'm just really excited to see it happen, okay? Uh, the goblin then looks down, ducks and scuttles close to the ground, takes the disengage oh. bonus action. Well, that's rude. I'm not supposed to run away. Runs right over there. Okay, that is the last remaining of the yellow goblins, which then brings us to the howda. There's one howda left. Seeing you, Camber, as the closest person to come punch, uh -huh. is going to come running right up to you. Yep. With only a nine on the die, mm. not going to hit. Then brings us to the bolt launchers. Okay. Oh. And that how to really did block view from you, Camber. I'm going to say you you're going to have half cover between the tree <laughs> and the how sure. to. You've got yeah, half cover. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you for clipping that bag. It's a natural 20, however. Oh, what is half cover grant? Uh, it doesn't matter. Plus two with DRC. The oh, yep. Okay. Silvery say our bang. Oh, All right. Nice. With the silvery barbs coming out. Sixteen to hit. That's my AC. Hey, at least it's not Wait, no. money. Wait, no. I have half cover. So 18. 18, yep. <gasps> yes! That's what Zach it's all Meister, about, thank man. Thank you for those thousand oh, biddies. Smell. Advantage A. Thank you, Thay. Hooray, <laughs> Hey, Ray, Ray. Thank you so much. That's so very kind of you, Zagmeister. That means the whole world to us. <sighs> the blue one. The blue hout is gonna be aiming at you, Charlie. Actually, no, it's Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker, we already have one coming at Charlie. It's only a three on the die. Not gonna hit. All right. That's it for the bolt launchers. And that's just about it for the reigning gold. Y'all, I will do that math at. Yellow. Uh, the yellow one didn't. Did you? Give me a quick second. Uh, the uh, That was it for the reigning gold. Thank you all so much. We are so very, very grateful Love it. For Thank you. you so much, y'all. Uh, no, the yellow I'm one I'm guessing that's what you meant to say. Thank it aimed for me. Yeah. It, I'm, it I'm missed spectacularly. <laughs> sure Okay. <aims. laughs> <laughs> okay. Scott's like, I'm an interpreter. <laughs> all right, Stonebreaker. <gasps> One word. <laughs> Run. Walk. Okay. You walk. <laughs> and then you attack. Yep. Uh, good, good, very good. Thank you for the clarity. We appreciate it. Oh, no. Adrenaline surge? You have two adrenaline. It needs to get a uh, 15. A 10. A 10 does not. 
hit. <sighs> distracted with <laughs> my second attack, distracted with all these strange and fancy hand gestures, you find yourself a little bit disoriented. Pierce likes things is given Stonebreaker an adrenaline surge. A 15, 18? 18. <laughs> 18 to hit. That will do. <laughs> 10. 14? 14 points of damage. <laughs> and a cheeky smile. All right. <laughs> I can just, like, actually picture Stonebreaker, like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can post. Me? <laughs> Mark damage Stonebreaker on had, a mo- had a modeling a career at one point. <laughs> Okay. Is that the end of your turn, Stonebreaker? Yes. <laughs> All right. As your turn ends, you feel your voice return to you. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> you did great, Stoney. That was, that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> that then brings us to the Red Goblins. Ha. Huh. The one that is down here below you, Charlie, is going to take half of his movement to stand up. Is going to move back a little bit. And is then going to make a, an attack at you. It's a 12 to hit. Literally, the, if my sword's in hand, just... Nice. <laughs> the red and blue is coming to you, Camber. Mm-hmm. Once again, only a 12. Stonebreaker, the red and green is coming to you. Cool. That's a 7. It will so not hit. nothing happens. This is going so well. I'm loving this. <laughs> Which brings us back to Charlie. Um, all right. You can't run. Bonk. <laughs> Hi. Okay. And uh, first attack with my scimitar doing boom and blade. Nice. Okay. Now you really can't run. <laughs> <laughs> that is. And I have advantage because snowball, natural 20. Nice. Sick. Let's Uh, see how much you overkill this (laughs) goblin by. Uh, 20 points of damage. Yeah, by a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> much. You cleanly Ours decapitate the goblin, and Ugh. as your blade leaves the other side of his neck, it is ash before it even falls to the ground. Oh, that's so cool. I said I was a goblin killer. Fire bay. And then... <laughs> I have enough to go here because my speed is 40 feet. <laughs> Uh, okay. Sweet. And with my offhand attack, that's my shadow blade. Oh, okay. This one's not at advantage though. Uh, but that is a 14 plus seven, so 21. That'll hit. That's eight points of psychic. Eight points of psychic, again, enough. It is a goblin. <laughs> you actually, in a very similar motion, come around towards the neck, but what actually you end up doing is cutting kind of through oh. this area. Oh. It doesn't hit in a traditional sense. You don't see blood pour. The blade goes through more than anything else. But by the time it cuts through the other side, the goblin's eyes are white and lifeless. Oof. That's how you do that's it. brutal. All right, is that your turn, Charlie? Yeah, that's everything I can do. Snowball. Um, snowball, basically flying right behind me, is going to keep helping me for the my next attack. All right. Camber. All right, I'm going to use my bonus action to call. Hey, Nico, you're doing so great, buddy. Come take my place and chomp this one down, too. And then I'm going to spend 5, 10, 15, uh, 20 feet of my movement around here to... St- uh, be like, hey, what up, Stony? Okay. Um, and I'm going to then keep my attention focused on the uh, pink bolt launcher and make two attacks down at him. But first, I got a potion in my hand. So yes, let's figure you out do. what's going on with this thing. All right, are you looking at it? Uh, I'm looking in the direction of the. I'm facing in the direction of the bolt launcher, but yes, I'm looking at it. You're my, looking at the potion. potion. 
Uh, that potion is, you can see some of it towards the top, but as it goes down and liquid becomes invisible. Okay, okay. Kind of a soft gray color. Suspicious, eh? I think I wanna take a trip and I'll knock it back. Okay, as you do, you feel the tips of your fingers go a little bit numb and they become invisible. Okay, interesting. Remind me about that potion next turn. Sure, sure. Okay. All right, let's uh, take an attack at the pink bolt launcher with advantage, thanks to Wyatt. Okay. Uh, what die wants to be my friend? Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll be a 22 to hit. A 22 will hit. Wait, no, Nico doesn't have his reaction back yet, so this will be straight. Oh, sorry, Josh, I just helped him to the face. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that's cocked. Uh, that is 10 points of piercing, okay. 5 points poison. Okay. Second attack. Ooh. I have an adrenaline surge. For you sure, have right? three, as a matter of fact. Okay, uh, I will use two of them to make that a 15. A 15 will hit. Okay. Uh, I can reroll one, thanks to my piece of feet. Uh, 13 points piercing, okay. six points poison. That's enough. That was a good turn. I snake. Yes. As he starts crumpling forward and falls off the rock oh. and vanishes. All right, um, and then Nico is going to use his full movement to get here and take a jump at the howda between him and Stonebreaker. Okay. Pierce likes things giving Camber another adrenaline surge. Thank you, Pierce. Um, that will be a 24 to hit. That'll hit. And he'll infuse this with some lightning damage. Uh, four points piercing, three points lightning. All right. Okay, Wyatt, it is your turn. <laughs> uh, Ersh will spit, Ritual <laughs> say, Athoris say, they, Uvme. Okay, moving the spiritual thesaurus. Attack, eh? Okay, making an attack with the spiritual thesaurus. Mm -hmm. Very good. Atrol, nay. Yes, <laughs> all right. Excellent, let's roll that damage. That's the good book right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes! Axe me, damage day. Uh, 19 nay, damage day. All right, Jeff giving Camber another adrenaline surge. 19 damage coming in. As you just see it smack him straight in between the eyes and the Bugs Bunny style cross a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Orfe, Erstfe, I'm te, Evere, I at way, Ill way, Et le, Is he, And way, Ude, oh. Ocking te. Well, for you the first time. Te. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time ever, he will let his wand do the talking. <laughs> Very good. Aim se, Argit te. Okay. Enti one. Tay, and T1 Tay. Eight points of damage. Push pay. And pushing back nice. 10 feet. I can say. Oh no. <sighs> you put it 15 Fay. 15 does hit. Ente, damage day. Ten points of damage, okay. I can't. I All can't. right. Push, pay, ente. Pushing back ten more feet, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. In <laughs> and as your turn ends, <laughs> oh, uh, your words return uve to me, you. Uve me, uve me, e tray of her Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you Ooh. move behind the tree, yes, that will give you a modicum of cover. All right. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you moved it just out of the range of how far I can move. Yeah, All <laughs> right, that then will bring us to the yellow goblins who have all perished. So that will then bring us to the howda. 
the hound is going to turn back to you, Camber, oh, so mm-hmm. and punch. All right. Because I was like. Double check that. That is a 15 to hit. That'll miss. Okay. Woo! Oh. Oh, I'm dodging like crazy. This is wild. That's the only how to left, which brings us to the bolt launchers. The blue one's attack is coming towards stone. No, uh, yeah, to Stonebreaker. Hello. That's only a, a five to hit. <laughs> <laughs> when when Charlie, was this last time? I know. Uh, exactly. One is coming towards you. They're not doing nearly as well this Mm-mm. time. That's a 10 to hit, Charlie. Nope, doesn't hit. All right. Um, that's them. Stonebreaker. Cool. Uh, well, being here and having little uh, Drake friend to help, I will not do much else except slish. Uh that is a 19 on one die and a natural 20 on the other. Oh, die. that's a double right. crit! Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh. buddy! Jeez, you have to reroll both of those. Um, well. For 20 points of slashing damage. All right. Uh, second the tick. You start carving away, and you actually are starting the arm holding the howda. Seems to be losing a little bit of control. It's that real hurt. Still up though. Let's see if I can't get any good uh, cooking meat here. Uh, that will be. I don't know if I would eat it, Stone. Twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four will definitely hit. But you Come do on. you. Come on. For twelve points of slashing damage. It is still up. Oof. Well, um, that is actually. You know what? I believe that. With everything happening here, there is calculating. Um, no, you know, I, I will stay here. This is this is my charge. This is what I will do. Okay, all right. That then brings us to the red goblins. Uh, one's gonna attack a shot at you, Camber. One at Stonebreaker. All right. Stonebreaker, it's a 22 to hit. Uh, that will actually hit. <laughs> Hello, little one. That's we meet again. Six points of piercing damage. I take three. It does look eerily familiar. You just see him just <laughs> scrunch up his face and go, yeah. at you. All right. I am going to kill you. <laughs> Amber. Uh-huh. That's a 17 to hit. That'll hit. For six points of piercing damage. Okay. And as Wait, was that, that a range attack? Yes. I will use my reaction. Do it. <laughs> Uh, where'd my D10 go? Uh, I reduce it. All right, as you <laughs> manage to just bat it out of the air, you feel the magic of the spider silk gloves just yeah. twitching through your fingers. All right, as that brings us to the end of initiative, we're gonna take a quick break. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Thank you all wow. so much for being here with us tonight on The Gauntlet Audience Interactive Dungeons & Dragons. We're going to take a quick break, but that doesn't mean you should go anywhere because we have an awesome giveaway I today. know, right? Yay. Come on. It's so good. We're giving away a $15 coupon code to our amazing sponsor, Catch of Candles. They're absolutely awesome. This is an international giveaway. Um, the, um, the word of the night is going to be ogre. Um, so you're going to want to hit type in exclamation point ogre. Wait for Nightbot to give you the command to do it. Make sure to only enter once, or otherwise you will be disqualified. You will have a lovely break. And we'll be right back. Stick around. See you soon.
Thank you.
Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Gauntlet. We are so, 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 so happy you are here. As a reminder, we have our giveaway going. Giveaway! giveaway. <laughs> so you have a couple of more moments until I finish this spiel to do exclamation point ogre. That's right, exclamation point ogre. Only do it once or you will be disqualified to be entered to win a $15 coupon code to catch up candles. The absolute heckin' best. We're so happy they're there. And let's see, I think, uh, in Crockford, welcome back on in. It's so good to Hello. have Hello. you. Hey. Hello. Hello. So you. happy you're here. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. We're so happy you're here. Um, okay. I think we're going to get ready to roll that. We're getting ready to go. I'm doing it. Who? I'm rolling it. Huh? I hit a button. What's it going to be? <laughs> Clever Foodie. Oh, yeah. right. Hey. Here we go. Hey. Clever Foodie, send us a message. We'll get you your coupon code. We're so happy you're here. Thank you so much, everyone who won. And seriously, really do go check out Cantrip Candles. They're really freaking awesome. They so, are. They're super cool. Super cool. Super cool. It smells so good. I don't think we have any other announcements. Are you all ready to go back? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Pew, pew. Continuing <laughs> back into the gauntlet. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, we were back at the top of initiative. Let me actually zoom out a little bit here for our audience. It zoomed back in for me. There we go, now we can really see the playing field. All right, as our adventures, we're still continuing to fight some ogres and some goblins. Charlie, it's your turn. Um. All right, does the yellow one look fairly hurt? Kinda hurt? It's been hurt, all absolutely. Right. Um, okay, so first, you're gonna see in my paw, I'm just gonna drop the shadow blade, so not my simmer type, but the shadow blade, and it's gonna kinda disappear as I drop it. Okay. Still maintain concentration, but I found out I could do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, uh, as it drops, flame's gonna appear, and I'm just gonna throw a firebolt at the yellow one. Okay, let's so. roll that attack. Since snowball's helping. 17. That'll hit. Ouch. Eight points of fire damage. Okay. And then. Okay, I'm gonna move my full movement. 20, 25. 30, 35, 40. Okay. 40. <laughs> no, just be advised that thing right by you there is a tree. So you're kind of wedging yourself in here. Yeah, I want to be around the corner from the yellow one. Okay. All right. You have succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> the point is to be around the corner from the yellow <laughs> one. Okay. I will say you don't have great lines of sight from here. I, You'll have to leave to probably get purpose. some stuff. Okay, yep, you've got I know. it. Fully, <laughs> fully aware. <laughs> All right. Um, and then bonus action: the shadow blade appears in my hand again. Okay. Yeah. 
Nice. Snowball. Um, Snowball is going to keep helping me out. All right. Camber. All right. Uh, Stonebreaker, you think you got this one in front of us? I do, yes. All right. I'm going to uh, go see what Charlie's up to over there, and I'm going to bonus action cast the Zephyr Strike. Okay. So you'll see my lightning greaves uh, on my feet kind of blur and glow as I run 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... 30 feet here. Okay. Um, just double check. Too far to get the blue bolt launcher. Yes. So I will I will turn around and as I run away I will fire one farewell shot uh, at the um, at the howdah down there. You've got it. Oh, this is an advantage thanks to the uh, Zephyr Strike. Uh, oh, it's a 19 on the die, y'all. All right. Okay, that is a 26 uh, to hit. That'll hit. Um, Nico can infuse this, right? He's close enough. Oh, just out of range, unfortunately. Okay. So, um, huh. Huh. that will be 12 points of piercing. Okay. And six points of poison. The poison alone would have done it. <laughs> Those goblins need to make some checks to make sure they don't fall prone. They roll real great on this part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real good. They actually just kind of like both of them seem to tumble and fall. They seem to have almost planned for this moment as they just tumble through the ash and land three-point hero style. Yes. <laughs> they roll so well <laughs> to not fall down. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I like <laughs> if you roll well for that. <laughs> I'm sure y'all love it. All right. I will then uh, continue my movement 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet here to get line of sight on the yellow uh, bolt launcher okay. and shoot at them. <clears throat> uh, that is an 18 to hit. An 18 will hit. Uh, that will be seven points piercing and one point of poison. The poison would have done oh! it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Oh, one. As once again, uh-huh. <laughs> y'all left this big old monster at one hit point. <laughs> Thanks, Canva. Got right. y'all. All right. um, that'll end my turn. Okay. Um, Nico is going to lunge forward and take a bite at the green and red goblin there in between uh, him and Stonebreaker. Alright, make that attack at advantage. Uh, that would be a natural 20 for Nico. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so. as Nico drastically overkills yet another goblin, uh-huh. let's go. Uh, <laughs> that will be almost max damage, y'all. Uh, 15 points piercing mm-hmm. and uh, 10 points of lightning. <laughs> So good. Wow. <laughs> Just an incredibly dramatic amount of damage for an incredibly undramatic monster. But he's cute. <laughs> but Nico's so excited. Nico's adorable <laughs> doing this, too. Nico's eyes are all wide. There's a little bit of spittle flying as uh-huh. he just excitedly <laughs> chomps into this monster as it turns to ash. As all of the creatures in the gauntlet are constructs, they feel no pain. Um, That's us. There you go. Okay. That brings us, the yellow goblins have perished, the howdahs have perished, which leaves us at a bolt launcher, who is going to make a shot at you, Camber. Okay. That was a natural one, although I need to (laughs) unwedge this tray here, because everything's rolling at a slight tilt. It's not cocked, but everything Mm -hmm. is rolling at a slight tilt, and it's driving me bananas, Stonebreaker. Cool. Well, seeing all of this happen, I, I'm just going to be in as leisurely as possible. Uh, going to come over here, look at this goblin, and say, "Hello. Give me one moment before this is over, and I will right. drink this potion." Okay. Uh, that potion is actually a uh, pink cake potion. Mm. It is not a bottle. It is a piece of. It is a potion-shaped cake bottle, and it, it says, have- "Eat me." Oh, yeah. I'm going to take one second first. It's like, oh, excuse me. This will be over quick, and I will slash at Goblin. Okay. Uh, That is going to be a 19 to hit. A 19 will hit. For uh, 12 points of slashing damage. 
For 12 points, it is very dead. Cool. Uh, for and, any, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, remind the GM, I had drunk a potion last turn. You're supposed to check in with uh, it. That is correct. Yeah. Yes, thank you. There was a break in there mm -hmm. through off the group. Um, yes, uh, you have found your arms and your legs are invisible. Oh. <laughs> Just a floating head, floating head torso. Yep. Oh my. I would then like to uh, eat this potion. Okay. As you feel all of your muscles and bones begin to strain as you grow up a size category. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh giant oh, 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 oh. I like this. <laughs> and here's what I'll say: these potions have changed. A little bit. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Since I actually did a little bit more research on what this should actually do, um, this is not just cosmetic. Uh, you, this will last one round. Cool. The next time you do an attack, roll one extra damage die on your weapon. Fantastic. Oh. I will then like to move over here, please. I have uh, ten feet of okay, movement there, left, Palladian. and that should get me here. Uh, oh, actually, and then bonus action, I get to dash, bringing me... Bonus action dash? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because strike. of that expeditious, expeditious retreat. Expeditious retreat. Nice. Yep. There's a lot of running spells on the Super board. Super handy for me. And then I will just stand here and strike a pose. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, that then brings us to the red gobos. Uh, I think I'm out of gun. Skipped again. My apologies, Wyatt. Go ahead. We'll, go ahead. we'll have you go. <clears throat> It's all good. It's all good. Wyatt's gonna duck around. He's got his facilities back. Uh, he's gonna duck around the tree, start running towards the cliffs here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <clears throat> right out into the open. He's gonna slide into the earth, point his wand up at the sky, and fire two Eldritch Blasts into the blue boat launcher. Okay, make that attack. These won't be repelling. Whew, uh, 22 to hit. That'll hit. All right. For 10 points of force damage. Okay. Second one, ooh, even better. That's gonna be a 23 to hit. 23 will hit. For eight points of force damage. All right. As my bonus action, I'd like to quicken another Eldritch Blast, but only two sorcery points. Nice. This time, it will be repelling. Okay. Nice. 17 to hit. 17 will hit. Four, five points of force damage. All right, and this is repelling? Yep. All right. He's still on. Final attack. I'm gonna roll this with my advantage from my inspiration. All right, using your inspiration. As a reminder, everyone is inspired. Sick. That's gonna be a 21 to hit, Gauntlet. That'll hit. Sir. for another 11 points of okay. force damage. And it's gonna have to make a strength check to see if it tumbles back off of the side as it goes flying. It does. Oh. So what I will say is right now it is dangling off the edge. Oof. As you just see this creature just <laughs> flying backwards. His arms reach out and they are huge, muscly arms, just rippling with just muscle and fat and bone. And he just catches forward and you see these massive fingers just digging into the rock. He's holding on, but he's gonna have to get back up and he's gonna have to take some time to do it. All right, yeah, so. with it. Um, that's literally everything I can do on my turn. That's been, I believe, two turns that I've had the vulnerable up. Yep, I believe so oh, as well. Way to go, man. Excellent. Vulnerable passes. All right. The red goblins have perished. That's everyone bringing us back to the top of the round, Charlie. I'm doing Pythagorean's theorem. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's what I'll say right now. You cannot hit this thing. Oh, I was going to move. Standing. It was from ah. where I was going to move to. I was doing Pythagorean's <laughs> But then he got pushed down. So is he down like another five feet then? Uh, he's, he's hanging off the of the edge of the cliff. So he's okay. kind of at the same height. His head sort of is. Um, 
I mean, well, if you're thinking about it immediately, the way D&D does, that's always kind of at the core of where you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's down about five feet. Okay, well, either way, with Pythagorean's theorem, okay, so running my full 40 feet here. Okay. And I'm going to... Yeah, okay. Again, disappear the shadow blade, and as it disappears, fire appears in my hand and throw a firebolt at it. All right. And with Snowball's help, who I'll move in a second. Uh, 24. 24 will hit. Hi, Allie Slayer 23. Ooh. Welcome in. Uh, for a lovely four points of fire damage. Okay, you know... Just for sake of he's hanging on, I'm just gonna double check that that. No, I'm like light. trying to knock him off. I'm, sure. th- I'm treating this kind of as a concentration check. I sure. Did it. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Let me actually double check this again because he rolled really high last time. Yeah, he's still holding on. He's still holding on, but just <laughs> barely. You see one of his hands slide down a little bit and just. Pulls it back up. He doesn't seem to even be paying attention to you. His eyes are just deeply trained on the rock in front of him. Uh, all right. Well, um, just case, bonus action. The blade appears back in my paw. Okay. Nice. Snowball. Um, Snowball. I'm going to tell Snowball to go in front of this guy and flap his wings and try to like basically get him to like, like yeah peck at the fingers. yeah basically <laughs> yeah, it's like pecking at fingers flap it like trying to get him to like what what's the actual action being taken here is uh, it an attack? it's like a distraction a distraction okay yeah let me check that here <laughs> <laughs> this is me going a little off book. Yeah, so, you yeah. Know. And see, the the gauntlet's very book. So <laughs> give me a quick second to make sure that, like, because I, I, I appreciate the, the the creativity, but I also want to make sure that, like, how that's actually going to work. Um, really can't attack, but can take other actions uh, as normal. Yeah. Um, have Snowball. <laughs> okay. Have snow- I feel like making this charisma is kind of the wrong thing, because <laughs> that's not really what's going on here. Um, I know Snowball can't make an attack, but let's roll as if Snowball is. It's not going to do any damage, but it okay. will determine what what the what the level of is? destructibility actually Snowball <laughs> provides. All right, all right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I have more. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I will I say is... Um, Apparently. One this ogre is a little bit distracted by Snowball. It, it's going to hinder a little bit of what he's doing. Again, it's not necessarily what Snowball's designed for, but it's cool enough that I'm going to allow some like disadvantage on some certain things. Cool. I was okay. like disadvantage on it, trying to get the ledge again. Okay. All right. That's snowball. Camber. All right. Um, seeing the big guy uh, tumble over the top and seeing Snowball hopping and bopping and pecking and flying, um, <laughs> I'm going to call use my bonus action to call Nico over. Big. Hey, buddy. Wait. Follow me. We're going hunting. And then I'm going to take my full action and movement to go... Tail wagon follows you. Uh, <laughs> Forty-five feet gets me there. So then, I believe sixty feet gets me there. Okay. And Nico will follow suit with his full eighty feet of movement. All right, and at the so end of your turn. You go completely invisible. Whoa! All right. Okay. That's cool. 
Yeah. Okay, that's us. All right. Wyatt. <clears throat> All right, Wyatt's going to start on running. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Take the dash action. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can't okay. quite get there, I'm guessing. No line of sight, right? Not really, no. That's a big old rock. You can kind of, you hear this, <laughs> just strained, and you hear some kicks against the rock. So you know generally where he is, but you can't see him. All right, Wyatt's just going to slide to a stop, catch his breath, say, hey, Charlie. And hey, then burn, two, uh, burn a spell slot to create two more sorcery points. All right. Cool. As a bonus action. That's my turn. All right, that then will bring us to the bolt launcher, um, who is going to try and get back up. Cannot. Oh, boy. Way to go, Snowball. Thanks, Snowball. All right, rolled terribly on both rolls, too. <laughs> yes. um, so he's going to... Yeah, I think that's that would be... Again, this is a little unorthodox here. I allowed it for the flavor of it, but it is a little unorthodox. Um, he drops down. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. That's what I wanted. Taking some falling. <laughs> Not much. Oh, wait, no. I can do math. Okay. Taking some falling damage. Let's see if he falls prone. Rolls great on that. Does not prone. <laughs> and that is his turn. All right. Stonebreaker. Cool. Um... Hearing all that commotion, I believe that my friends have this uh, this little tree that is next to me. How tall is it? The tree? Mm-hmm. That's one of the shorter trees. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's 15 feet. 15. Uh, so with my stature, if I were to reach my arm out, could I maybe, like, get touch the top of it? Yes, absolutely, you could. In that case, I am just going to step over here smile at knowing what my friends are doing, just rest my hand on top of tree and say hello friend, and I will lean back against uh, one of the branches. <laughs> okay. How's it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As that happens. Is there any way that I can have this, uh, <laughs> as I'm shrinking, continue to lean so I sit on one branch? <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Oh, uh, do you want to be in the tree? <laughs> you bet, sure. <laughs> okay, Stonebreaker Sitting manages to get himself <laughs> in a tree. K I L L I N G. <laughs> As your size category returns to normal, we're going to zoom in a little bit for the audience here. There we go. All right. Bring us back to the top of the round, Charlie. Thanks, Snowball. Rushing forward. Slash with my scimitar as I cast Booming Blade. Okay. Uh, non natural 20. That'll hit. Um, that is five points of slashing and eight points of thunder damage. Okay. Pandemonium look. Okay. Um, and then offhand attack, hit him again with my shadow blade. Okay. You have three points of adrenaline. I'm gonna use all of it <laughs> to make it, hold on, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, to make it 15. A 15 will hit. <laughs> so glad we made those stack points. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Four points of psychic. Is one more. Ah! Oh, yes. <gasps> then you need. Well done. Yes. 
Way to clean it up, Charlie. Mm -hmm. As the world goes dark, and you find yourself. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Are those Someplace skulls? Someplace new. Are those? Oh my god, they're skulls. I can smell this map. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you sure can. As a fetid wave of rot Oof. and decay Ooh, and excrement and filth oh. hits your face. <sighs> Underneath you, the ground is slimy oh. and wet. Mm. And everything around you seems to be water or waste or blood Ugh. seeping out of the dirt. Great. Uh, good thing I already had blood on my paws because I'm pretty sure that they're dyed red oh, right now. Gross. As around you, you see burnt out husks of trees and crawling out of the ground indeed seem to be skulls. Oh, that's good. Zooming in for the audience, getting a better look at the creatures you are fighting here. And the skull ground. And the skull <laughs> ground. <laughs> you see some creatures crawling up. They seem to be made of the same muck and ooze as the ground underneath you. Vaguely humanoid in shape, you see these desiccated but still wet forms. You can see parts of their organs oh. Oh. still functioning, but decayed. Their skin wrinkled over their features, all of them different shapes and sizes. And they just all turn towards you, and they open their mouth as all their extremely flat teeth. And they all reach out, and there's another mouth of their hands. Oh! 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 Sound. Which king will give you that card back? I would to like you, to go back to the other room. <laughs> we just, uh, we had two go through, so I'll give this one back to you, Witch King. Oh my god. These have been identified. Both Zagmeister oh, and Witch mm -hmm. King went out to identify them, so we'll give you both credit for that. Oh, listeners, mate, I will uh, I will send these back to you. There's only one monster Ooh. in this room. Um, but how many mouths? <laughs> I don't want Quite to know. Quite a few. These are Rutterkin. Rutterkin? Rutterkin? Rutterkin. Rutterkin. Rutter. Doesn't like a ship. They have 37 hit points. Their armor class is 12. 37. AC 12. Okay, I feel like there's gotta be something else there. <laughs> All right. Bleak. They started pretty close to you this first time meeting them. Yep. All right, let me uh, get in over there. All right, and as a matter of fact, as Charlie has just finished their turn, yep. <laughs> it is now the Rudderkin's turn. Oh, oh no. boy. <laughs> Oh, oh my Actually, God. you know what? It's Snowballs. I lied. Snowball takes their turn, and okay. then the red thing <laughs> You got this, okay. Snowball! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Snowball... Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, overwhelmed right now. Um, Snowball is clinging to my shoulder and is going to continue trying to help me out because they're also a little terrified of everything that's happening right now. Lister's May is playing a high trade on you, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I appreciate That then does bring us to the Rudderkin. Um, it's going to be good. Great. I yeah. also feel like I may uh -huh. need a breath or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So much for... You know, oh, my apologies. Actually, I forgot they're supposed to actually roll two initiatives. That's on me. Okay. Green and orange, I'm just. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. Do you roll the same thing twice? Oh, my sanity's about to go. Okay. Well, they all go. <laughs> yep, so they all go. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool, so... I never planned for this racing. eventuality. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it was eventually going to happen, oh, maybe. Swarmed. Oh, All right, we're so. Um, fudged. The orange ones go first. Oh. 
this one just crawl, half mm -hmm. crawls, half walks. As again, every part of this thing seems to be disproportionate. Its legs are different sizes, its arms are different sizes. But as it moves, you actually see that seems to change. Like one arm will then become bigger and then they'll slide to one of its legs yes. and then to its shoulder oh, and then to its oh. head as this whole thing just <laughs> oozes forward <laughs> as it reaches out to take a bite out of you, Camper. Oh. Um, Zagmeister wants to spin the wheel of chaos on you first, though, Camper. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yep, yeah, come on. Round and round Kill this wheel goes. We <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Short fuse. Oh! oh! <laughs> that might be all right. <laughs> yeah, that actually might be okay right uh -huh. now. It's not the one we deserve, but it's the one we need. <laughs> I need literally everything to make dexterity saving yep. throws. Let me double check that oh, as you just God. hear his. <laughs> Oh man. As a fireball descends on. What's our next okay. Thing? Those ones are outside of it. Fancy the, Thanks. Okay, so a chunk oh, of the no. Reticon are actually outside of this. Only the one by you is actually going to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to make a deck save. Wait, is it the, the pink Saves. green one also? Pink green one? Let me double check. What? Oh, yeah, that one's it. That's it too. Uh, what about you're right. the, the orange red? Nope. <laughs> exactly right out of range. Oh. Mm. We'll take what we can get. Mm -hmm. oh God, that, that one fails, however. The <laughs> green pink fails utterly. The yellow, the green yellow sees it coming, just oh, seems to flatten against the ground. Maybe about All right. Sure. I need to look up fireball again. <laughs> I haven't heard a nope come out. <laughs> I'm waiting. 8D6. We'll take it. We'll take it. I'm waiting. 8d6 and a 24 Hold on. radius. If it's the same as I have. <laughs> oh no, my bag is not here. Do you well, want some I'll, D6? Uh, no, it's okay. okay. I'll roll some of the extra ones of these. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really my way, but it's, it'll be fine. Getting a taste of the punishment. Mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. Snowball just poofed. Probably. All right. Um, Camber? Uh, Camber failed miserably, uh, but Nico did roll a natural 20. Okay. All right. Uh, that's a 10. If that fails, I'll use my lucky footwork to add Ten a D4. Fails. Making it a 14. That'll save. Uh, I got a 24, and Snowball got an 11. That Snowball is going to fail. Two. Yeah, that's going to be a fail. <laughs> <laughs> so Wyatt and Camber saving. Oh, and uh, no, Nico. Nico saves. Nico Camber saves, fails. Camber fails. Sorry, 23 for me. But, yeah. But I am resistant to fire damage, so. Ooh, rolling terribly. I should have gone to get my die. Still might kill me, though. Well. Snowball's gonna die. Only 15 points of damage. Snowball perishes. To the... Uh, on a save. On a fail. On a fail? Oh. Yep. Ooh. 14 so points. That's Seven on a save? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh. You know what? Uh, stone's endurance. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Snowball perishes in a puff of oh. what fluff. <laughs> Almost uh, like a glitter of snow. Snowball doesn't so much like disappear in the same way that you do or that constructs do, just disappears in a magical puff of snow. As snow snowball is unsummoned. Oh, man. And it was 15, you say? Uh, yes. All right, I reduce it by three. <laughs> okay. And Crockford's given Charlie an adrenaline surge. Oh, thank you. All right. So that was the That's it. That was the Redderkin's approach to me. Yep. So it's still their turn. Yep. Uh, and I do maintain concentration on Zephyr Strike. Excellent. Oh, Ali Slayer, thank you for those ten biddies. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. That's an eighteen to hit. Uh, yeah, they'll hit. I need a constitution saving throw. Okay, yes, GM. Oh, I need to do a constitution. Um, that'll be a nine. That's a 
That's a failure. Okay. You take 13 points of damage. Oh! As this thing's mouth, again, the one that's inside its hand, actually chomps down on all of your arm and you feel part of your muscle tense. Um, and again, you just hear this <laughs> sound as it bites down on you. You are poisoned. Okay. Oh boy. Um, at the end of your next long rest, you may repeat the saving throw. Oh my god. So <laughs> dead. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you're poisoned until you die. Yep. No, and not yet, and maybe even afterwards. Okay, um, don't maintain concentration on that wow. attack, so. Oh, no. Okay, <sighs> this is bad. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Don't cool. get bit by them. Remember the potion in Israel shot that <laughs> removed the condition? Yeah, we may need Couple to pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Mm -hmm. Wow. The orange and red one moves up to you, Stonebreaker. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 15 to hit. No. As it bounces off the armor, and you just... Oh, have a good night, Witch King. Take care. See ya. Thanks, you just King. see it come down with both of its mouths a little bit, and it just looks up and goes... <laughs> All right. The orange and purple one is able to get up to oh use as well, Stonebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> That's a soft 20 to hit. That will hit. I need a con save. Uh, yeah, that will be a 19. You succeed. You take six points. Oh, wait, no, six plus... Oh, no, go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, eight points of piercing damage. All right, uh, so I take five. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. was okay. This is what I was built for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I've got one more orange one somewhere around here. There I go. Okay. Oh, all of them. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I hate it as much as you do. I promise you. I hate it as much as you mm -hmm. do. I don't sure. like moving yep. all these monsters. No, that's why. <laughs> it's why I separate them. So this is really awful for me. <laughs> Okay. Uh, now for the green ones. Uh-huh. <laughs> Next time you ever get, like, an evil smile on your face, we'll just be like, hey, remember that time <laughs> that all those things went at the same time? <laughs> the green red one can get right up to you, Charlie. Yeah. That's a 15 to hit. Doesn't hit. All right. Um... The green yellow can also get yep. right up to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 11 to hit. Doesn't hit. The green blue is coming right in for you, Wyatt. Uh huh. That's a 24 to hit. 24. Oh, 23, 23, 23. Not a natural 20. 23. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be 12 points of piercing damage. I need a con save. Mm hmm. That's a natural 20. No. You succeed. Oh. <laughs> this is so stressful. <laughs> so stressful. I thought okay. it was stress last week. I feel oh, like I'm more stressed yeah. right now. Oh, no. Okay. But look on your face, then. <laughs> <laughs> I just did some math. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. The green pink one is oh, able man. to get up to you, oh Stonebreaker, and is going to take an attack at Stonebreaker. Th that is fine. I am. Be my friends. Come. It's a natural one. Pets to you as well. <laughs> Camber, it is your turn. At the start of your turn, uh -huh. I need a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. What? As all of them suddenly turn and look, as they see you begin to move, all of them look at you and just go. And you are terrified. Magi RPG, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for trusting us with your community. Let's get that raid message up. Hold on. Let me make it happen. Raiders! A clamoring is heard at the door of the tavern. We're so happy you're here. Oh my gosh. 
Let's see, yep, we gave you the shout out. You're playing some Dungeons and Dragons too. Let me get you the fancier one too. That way we can all go the follow. Fancy one? Cool times yeah. with dice. <laughs> oh yeah, we like we have our own shout out. But then and then Twitch, Twitch has, has got one, so you can all now, oh, y'all nice. go follow Magi RPG. Oh. Give yourself a little bit of self promo in the chat. Tell us about your stream, about your campaign, about how everything was going. We'd love to hear a little bit more details about what you folks were up to today. And again, thank you so much for trusting us with your community. If you need to raid and dash, we totally understand. But we are so happy you are here. If you are new here, welcome to the Gauntlet. Audience Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons Never Ending Combat Chaos, where what kills us makes us stronger. That's very important to note because I have mm -hmm. a feeling we may be coming up on a little bit of character death right now. It is not permanent in the gauntlet, it's actually kind of a technique. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we have, have Dark Horse 1975, thank you so much for the follow. I'm your gauntlet master, <laughs> Emmy. We are so happy you are. Here, uh, the gauntlet also has some unique rules, so be sure to hit explanation point rules if you want to learn a little bit, learn a little bit more. But yeah, seriously, Magi, thank you so much. That means a lot to us. We know how special the community is, so thank you, thank you so much. We're so happy you're here. <laughs> oh yeah, and you can also interact using stream loots cards. So yeah. if you want to interact with True. these. Uh, mm -hmm these wacky mobiles <laughs> and uh, see if you can get them to do some kind of silly things. That's a fun way to interact. Um, and as a matter of fact, oh, I completely forgot. That's right. Uh, and uh, Magi RPG, if you want to, our uh, moderators can send you some of those mm -hmm. because you rated in on us and we really appreciate you giving us free stuff some uh, <laughs> some time. So if you want to play, you well, certainly can. All right. <laughs> Whose turn was it? There it was, was a the lot start happening. of my turn. Starting your turn. You were making a wisdom save. Even at this advantage, that's a 19. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to, to oh. Save, save. Yeah. Joriel <laughs> Sweet Spring, thank you so much for that follow. Thank Welcome you. on in, pull up a chair. Okay, we're fighting some oh, yeah. Redikins today. Um, okay. You just hear that deep chattering in your brain. And you feel everything about this environment, about their faces, about this whole place is deeply wrong. But you're stronger than this and you know it. Mm -hmm. You shake it off. Oh. Um, All right. Because you successfully saved on their immobilizing fear, oh. you are immune for 24 hours. Okay. Sorry, there would. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would it matter? Um, You'll find out what it does if any of you fail. Oh, I'll uh. fail. I'm going to look down at Nico and be like, hey, buddy, this is not where we belong. Let's try and speed this up, okay? Oh. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> oh. I'm going to use 5, 10, 15. 20 feet of my movement he to go down here. Okay. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to turn around. Is that for sure? Yeah, I know. Uh, well, no, Zephyr Strike has dropped. So yep. if it wants to take an attack of opportunity. Ooh, which one? Where did you come from? Oh, I came yeah. from over there. Yeah, uh, so that, that orange. Yeah, you take two. The orange and yellow and the orange and red and both get oh. one on you. So yep. the orange and yellow is going to take a bite at you. That's that. a 12. I will miss. Oh. Orange and red. Got to be in the tray. Oh. That's a 19. Yep, that'll hit. <sighs> you are already poisoned, so yep. I'm not going to ask you to make that save. Um, however, good. you are going to take... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <Emmy>! <laughs> Be gentle. 19 points of fierce. Oh, my points. God! <laughs> Zagmeister, thank you for those four biddies. We oh, appreciate you. Oh, no, those Ally Slayer thanking Zagmeister. I can read. Yeah. Thank you for those five videos. That means the whole world. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah. I'm going to look over and I'm going to go look at uh, Wyatt and Stonebreak and be like, good night, sweet friends. We are not long for this earth. And I'm going to cast Burning Hands. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Facing everybody. <laughs> Are you gonna hit all of us? <laughs> I don't think I can hit. Uh, it's a 15 foot cone. Uh, Stonebreaker, uh, Pierce likes things, thinks you're feeling lucky. Your next roll will be made with high variance. Oh my God. Cool. Uh, Zagmeister so yeah. has unleashed a stable charge on Camber. <laughs> a stable charge, okay. A stable okay. charge. I need you to roll a d100 before I need some dexterity saving throws <laughs> from Stonebreaker and Wyatt. <laughs> Takes them out with me. a whole bunch of the Rudderkins. Uh, 61. <laughs> That's a success. Okay. At least I'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure that's a success. Um, Left five. <laughs> let me double check that card. 
I think you needed yeah, that. Yeah, that's a success. So you are going to heal for 19 points. Oh, damage. okay, right back to the And the charge of the gauntlet resets to one. Are we about to lose our healer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let me make that for the orange-red. 10. That'll fail. Orange purple. Uh, but, uh, oh crap, I already forgot. I like remembered it the first time and then I forgot the second time. Uh, 11. Fail. And then the. <laughs> green pink. What monster is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, the Rudderkin, hilariously. <laughs> had a what? On 11. All so, three all fail. fail. Okay. And then Stonebreaker. Was that uh, Pierce who gave me? I thank you for that natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> for a twenty. <laughs> what? Seventeen for a soft twenty. That'll All right, those okay, are both successes. Six so you'll take half um, of this. That is twelve points of fire damage to anybody who failed, and six to those who saved. All right. <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my. Not so. Um, you know, buddy, you're pretty singed. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, once again, we're leaving monsters at one hit point. Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, we're going to need that good luck. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be it for me. Nico's just going to go ahead and take a chomp at the orange and yellow one in front of him. Okay. And see what happens. Uh, that is a 20, uh, 23 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. And he'll infuse this. With a little, little bit of lightning damage. Oh, you know. Oh. Before he takes his turn. Okay. I need him to make a wisdom, wisdom save. Wisdom save. Throw. Okay. Oh, cause he jumped. I into forgot. Not the start of everybody's oh, turn. It sounds like. No. So. Mm. Forgive me. I need to pull up his stats. <clears throat> uh, Gauntlet master, how many surges do I have? You have three. Three adrenaline surges and an inspiration. Excellent. I. Just asking for future wisdom stuff. Uh, totally that's fair. a 20 for Nico. Okay, Nico succeeds and is immune. Great. For the next 24 hours. Um, Hopefully you're not going to be in this room that long. <laughs> okay. I hate this. I love this, but I hate this. <laughs> yeah. uh, that'll be watching you. <laughs> five points of piercing damage. <laughs> How many? Five points five? of fusing damage so <laughs> and five points of lightning. Okay. Uh, let me double check. <clears throat> oh, come on. No, I never want to click back when I'm doing that. So that was seven total? I'm so sorry. Uh, ten something. total. Ten total? Okay. One of them was lightning? Five of it was lightning. You notice the lightning does not seem to do oh! as much as you thought. What? Okay. Actually, real quick. I actually need to do a little bit of math. Hold on one quick second, y'all. Okay, as a matter of fact, that fire, you also notice. Because they're kind of wet. Oh, okay. Seems to slick off the side of them a little bit. Interesting. And dot does not do as much as you thought. Okay. Uh, hey, Charlie, don't yeah. hit him with fire. It don't work. All right. And that'll be us. Okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's us. What? I need a wisdom saving throw. Mm-hmm. Sure you do. Oh no. <laughs> mm-hmm. You have two adrenaline. Just don't think that'll do. <laughs> 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 look, look of God. Favorite of the gods. Favorite cause. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I have two. Yep. That'll make the three a seven. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I will use my favored by the gods to add 2d4 to that. I don't know if it's even possible. Oh, Just get about 10. Let's try. For five more, that makes it a 12. You succeed. Oh, Ooh. buddy! <gasps> yes! Oh. Yes! And the fear washes <laughs> through you. Okay, we know what 12 succeeds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. that's good to know. Wow, it's just, he's, he's burned, he's hurt, he's terrified. <laughs> he's gonna start muttering to himself. When you're out of luck, surrounded on all fronts. When you're sitting duck, there's no place to go but up. 
and he's gonna bonus action rabbit hop up onto Stonebreaker's shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Jack Meister's giving Wyatt an adrenaline surge. And hi, Mister Ionid. Hello. To have you. Um, as Wyatt hops up onto Stony Beast's shoulders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Oh, I'm not gonna use it this turn, but technically my uh, spiritual weapon would still oh, be yes. in play here. It's be um, the sixth turn of it. Heathen Cantina, thank you so much for the follow. Hey, welcome hey. to the Adventurers yeah. Pack. We're so happy you're here. We're less than fifty from a thousand, y'all. Oh my god. Oh yeah, right. that's yeah. quite correct. I should actually note, y'all. Getting there. We are less than fifty followers from a thousand. We are at oh man, we're at forty six followers from a thousand followers. Oh my y'all. gosh. Uh, which is amazing and ridiculous and we are so grateful that y'all would want to hang out with us. The thousand people out there in the world would think we're cool. Um, well, like that just means a lot. 900 and some bots. Like. <laughs> 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 I mean, hopefully we've exercised a lot of them. But Felice, thank you so much for gifting that sub to our community. Oh, thank and you. Allie Slayer, Aww. thank you for those hundred biddies. Oh my gosh, thank you all. That's so very kind of you. Thank you. But yes, if you are new, hanging out here. And you want to give us a follow. <laughs> now would be, where was that voice when I was trying to do it last week? Uh, <laughs> please feel free to give us a follow. We'd be absolutely super happy to have you. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sam. Cool. Um, Shane was over there. All right. Wyatt, is that the end of your turn? Uh, no, I still have an action left. He's, uh, Wyatt's... Gonna shiver and twin a Disney whisper. Oh, nice. Okay. At second level. Okay. Uh, this will be at the orange purple uh, orange between purple. Camber and Stonebreaker, and it will be at the red green by Charlie. Okay. Come on, come on. So I need wisdom saving throws from both of them. Okay. Come on. That's a seven from the... That's failure. Okay, and then from the one by Charlie. It was orange purple, right? Uh, or orange red. It was orange purple. Orange purple, orange purple and, and, and red. And, yeah, yeah, orange purple and, and Christmas, yeah. Yeah, Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. Christmas, that's an 18. Micken, 10, 15. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Welcome to the Adventurers Pack. Now I have to ask you really quickly. Yeah. Let me actually check the wording on Disney Westers real right. quick. You check. Because I, I have the internet. This does matter. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, time of checking is brought to you by the ongoing sponsor of uh, Season 2 of the Gauntlet, the Cantrip Lord Candles. Team. Candles with a story. Go check them out, cantripcandles.com. And also, uh, for everyone new here, be sure to come on by our show. And during intermission, we give away $15 uh, gift cards to Cantrip Candles. They're an amazing uh, LA local company that makes candles that are scented for your tabletop gamings. Uh, tonight's was the Adventurer's Bounty, or no, Adventurer's Emporium. Mm-hmm. It was one that they... Emporium. Yeah. It was the Emporium. Emporium. Uh, used to be, used to be Bounty, bounty. changed it to Emporium. Uh, but yeah, they're fantastic. Uh, also a reminder, all bits tipped to us here at the Adventurer's Pack account is gold that we can spend on cool stuff in the shop. You all mean the world to us. Thank you for being here. Awesome. All right, this will take effect. All right, um, so the one that... The one that failed is going to take yes. uh, 13 points of damage. Okay. The one that succeeded is going to take half that much. And okay. the one that failed in between Stonebreaker and Canberra needs to move its full movement speed away from me. All right. So 12, 6, and then its full movement speed away. Okay. The green and purple is beginning to move. And I will... Yup. Wait, no, it has not been my turn. Um, I used Stone's Endurance, and that takes my oh, reaction. Oh, it takes your reaction. <gasps> Dang. Mm-hmm. However, Camber, it is moving past uh, As soon as he's out of melee, I will take an attack at a disadvantage. Okay. Um, not terrible. Uh, a 13? A 13 will hit. Okay. I'll have Nico use his reaction to infuse this with lightning, even though it's not going to do as much, it's something. Um, that will be nine points of piercing. Okay. Five points poison. Okay. Three points of lightning. 
which I'm guessing is reduced down to one. You notice the poison doesn't seem to do it. Uh, doesn't take it out? Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. All right, as you actually see some of it kind of slide back off the top of it, mm-hmm. you get the impression this thing's already kind of poisonous itself. Sure, okay. All right. That's it for me. That's it for you. That brings us to Stonebreaker. Cool. Uh, wisdom save, I am guessing? Yeah. I am going to use the inspiration that I have was given at the beginning to do this at advantage. Okay. You have three adrenalines as well. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, that, it's only mm, 12. that hurts. No, even with all of the surges, that would not get me to 12. With a 1 and a 3 on the die. Oh, oh. buddy, that's rough. So we'll take that as a 4. <sighs> yes. Oh, I should, have, I should have let you know this was a straight roll anyway, because, yeah, you would have been making it at disadvantage. My apologies. What? Um... Boy, you make it a disadvantage because you are because this is an educational show because you are within thirty feet of six or more rudder pins. Ah. Six or more. Oh, that's oh. okay. Yeah. We got to knock down a couple mm-hmm. of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. All right. So, so then I re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're both bad. Mm-hmm. I say they're both bad. As you just hear this <laughs> of this teeth chattering and you just feel your own bones begin to shake and you feel some of what almost feels like the meat coming loose off of your hands and you look down and you swear you're seeing yourself fall into the dirt you are frightened of the Redikins for one minute while frightened in this way you are restrained (gasps) oh and you cannot move so as because this is an educational show Mm -hmm. restrained your speed is zero. Mm-hmm. Attack rolls against you have advantage. Your attack rolls have disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay. As you are too afraid to move. At the end of your turn, you may repeat the saving throw. Is there a particular one that I am afraid of? All Rudderkins. Cool. In that case, I'm not going to move, uh, and I will make attack at uh, green and pink one. Okay. At disadvantage, uh, that <laughs> is going to be a uh, an 18 to hit, not a natural 20. We'll hit. That's unfortunate. For 14 points of slashing damage. Okay. And the second attack going right back at him. Um, and that is going to be a 20 to hit. That will still hit. for 13 points of slashing damage. That's enough. Cool. And then uh, bonus action, I am going to... Oh. How is everyone looking? Pierce, technically we have been saying we should probably target this more towards a particular person. I'm going to tell you that for next time. We all probably need the hydrate right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm yeah. out of water. <laughs> also, breathe. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. How are you looking? Breathing. Oh, very breathing. Bad. Very good. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no, I have uh, three hit points. Cool. Bonus action, I will. <laughs> Pretty sure one of them Actually, no. Dead. I'll hold off on that. I, bonus action, I am going to use um, uh, Second Wind to heal. Okay. Zoom in a little bit for the audience. I heal for 13. Okay. All right. And that's his turn. Charlie. All right. Um, question, Gauntlet Master. Yes. If That's not how you move. I know how to move in roll 20. I've done this before. If I move right there, mm-hmm. could I get um, Christmas, <laughs> green and yellow, and orange and blue in a 30-foot comb? The green and blue is kind of around a tree from you, even at the uh, point. Orange and blue. Orange, even then. Uh, give me a quick second. Let me grab a ruler. It is involved some tri- third. However, <laughs> Annabelle wants to spin the wheel of chaos on you before All we right. can even Let's get it. Mercy, mercy. Punishment. <laughs> <laughs> As the players calling for punishment. Mm-hmm. <gasps> mercy. <laughs> Round and round the wheel's gonna go where it's gonna stop. We're gonna find out resistance. Oh yeah. For the next turn That's you are resistant fantastic. to damage. 
So resistant means half damage, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, that's helpful. So your math situation, the 30-foot cone. Right, math. <laughs> Uh, if you twist, I'm going to say, no, the way the roots are, it's, I think you got it. I think you're good. So I'd get all three? Yeah. Great. All right. Um, first, drop my shadow blade as it dissipates in smoke. Hold up my paw. Be like, freeze. <laughs> and as I do so, I'm casting, um, I know the exact term, Rhymes Bond and Ice. Okay. Sick. Nice. What is and this? it's a con save. Con save? Okay. All right, let's do yellow, green. Green, yellow. That's 12. Fails. Green, red. Is it seven? Fails. And the Broncos. Oh yeah, <laughs> we have Christmas and Broncos. Twelve fails. Okay. I almost made a really bad football joke out of that. <laughs> uh, <phew. laughs> wow, almost minimum damage for five points of cold damage. As you notice, all of them sort of shake it off and only take half. Oh man! But anyone who failed has their speed reduced to zero. Okay. Um, and they have to, for one minute. For one minute? Okay, and do, and they have to take a turn to they break out, They have to out, take right? an action to break out. Correct. Okay, yeah. all right. And then um, I'm going to use my, where is my thing? Um, um question. <laughs> Call yes. Yes. <faster. laughs> Um, is the, oh, I'll just point at the spot. Is this spot right, well, no, I don't want to, I don't want to point at Wyatt. The spot next to Wyatt, is that currently occupied? Uh, yeah, Wyatt is on top of Stonebreaker, so. So the spot next to him, though. No, the one, there's a space in between him and, and the, the, the spiritual, spiritual weapon. weapon. It's more I can't put Wyatt and Stonebreaker on the same no, thing. No, 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 that's one. good. That's so. kind of what I assumed as much. So, okay. great. Um, I <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wyatt. I'm moving up here. It's a little more, a little more clear. Um, hey, okay. settle down up there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It hurts. <laughs> uh, bonus action. I'm going to hippity hop out of there. And <clears throat> as Zagmeister has given you a random potion, you just feel a, boop, a bottle appear in your hand. Uh, I'm going to hippity hop. See the random potion. Aim myself towards the two I just hopped from, just in case. Okay. <laughs> What's in my hand before I drink it? Oh, Camber, we forgot to finish the effect of your you were invisible. Oh. We switched rooms. So here's what I'm going to oh, say. Yeah. We're going to allow it to go through. Um, but just so you know, yeah. your next tech, you're going to be invisible. Okay. We'll deal with the next stuff after that. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is in your hand? Take it. Um, that one has randomly shifting colors all the way throughout it. Ooh, I like it. It's pretty. As you feel your I body begin to, to shift and well. morph. No. Man, you can't be twins no more. <laughs> I'm worried that this makes me lose concentration. <laughs> Give me a quick sec. that one. Yep. Yeah, it's that one. As you feel yourself shrink down Oof. and you have become a platypus. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! Um, they got poison feet! Uh, Get them! Poison <laughs> doesn't do it! Damn it! <laughs> um, Damn it! I have a question. Yes. Because I think this is the first time this happened to me. Yeah. Um, 
Do I lose my concentration and stuff when this happens? Nope, but you are going to have to make some con checks as a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to give me the... I can look up a platypus. I say, just look up a platypus. If in doubt, um, yeah. we could use an otter. I know that there are definitely otter okay. stats. I'm, I'm looking one up. <laughs> <laughs> plat, plat, <laughs> put. <laughs> How do you spell platypus, y'all? Platypus. Platypus. No, Platy in there. Puss? platypus. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I was good at math, not so good at spelling. It's the reason that why it's the one that's good with the words. Um, platypus D and D five E. Cool, I found a platypus. All right, there you go. Whoa. You are a platypus. Cool. <laughs> Thank All <you>. right. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of your, at the end of your next turn, you will no longer be a platypus. All right. Oh, uh, I have blind sight. So cool. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> just, just what we need. <laughs> All right. It is Great. Snowball's turn. Snowball oh, is. You are still. I will say. Linked to Snowball. No, Snowball went. Oh, yeah, the like, Snowball yeah, went poofed. Yeah, That's they, right. They snowball poof got hit by the fire. Poof into fire. That then brings us to the Rudder Kid. Oh, mm-hmm. God. They can't see me. They cannot. It's very true. You have gone invisible. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hopefully out of reach. <laughs> Doing math. I also have the platypus AC and stuff on here to do. You are not out of reach. Oh, no. I hate to tell you right now. Because uh, you are about eight feet in the air. Uh-huh. And they are not that far off. They are five feet tall. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so. <laughs> the green and red, or the um, orange and red is coming for you, Stonebreaker. This attack will be at advantage. Okay. Uh, that's, correct. Uh, that's going to be an 11 to hit. That will not hit. Okay. <laughs> Wyatt, we've got one coming from you from the orange and yellow. Okay. That's a nine. Nope. The green and blue is going to come up here and hit Stonebreaker. It's fine. <laughs> That's a soft 20 to hit. Cool. Oh, boy. As you take 12, 13 points of damage. And do I need to uh, make a save? Yep. Sure do. Yay, 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 yay. Um, That's a con save. Yep, that is going to be a nine. Dice you have three like points of adrenaline. Day. Yes, Figure but I am out. already doing everything at disadvantage. At this point, I'm like, look, being poison. Oh, wait, but wait. I'm, it lasts for after yeah, your long rest. I'm fine with that. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. Um, you are poisoned. Yep. And uh, Stone's Endurance. Jeez. <laughs> I think your dice are done. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Scott lost the accent. That is two ones in a row on my Stone's oh, Endurance. Yeah. Uh, right. so and I know we had some new folks come on in here. You are poisoned until the end of your next long rest. <sighs> when you may repeat the saving. Yeah. How much damage was it? 12. 12. 13. 13. 13. I, 13. I reduce it by three. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, yes, so. <laughs> All right, Ooh. the or I was trying to keep them in order and it got messed up already. That's fine. Uh, you're invisible. It can't see you. Mm-hmm. So the orange purple is going to. Come, come to me. Hello. Is going to run up right here and take a bite at you, Wyatt. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, no, this is not an advantage. It's a straight roll. No, it's got friendship on you. That's a lie. There are so many. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 19 to hit you. Oh, oh God. No. Shield. Oh. Okay. <sighs> the Glad you learned that trick. Learned it from you. Yeah. Sometimes Green and yellow is going to come up here and attack you, Charlie. Does not oh, have right, to. I'm platypus. You're a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 14 to hit you. <laughs> it hits. The platypus? Yeah, it does. So you'll, as with polymorph, yeah. be not a platypus again here in just a second. Um, well, actually, that's... wait. Does my blade song translate to the platypus? Yeah. Then it doesn't <laughs> hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then it doesn't hit. 
flipping around pirouetting on your tail. Oh it is actually pretty much exactly what happens. You actually like feel the song of your magic flying, and you're kind of doing somersaults over doing your tail. Doing a little tail. dance, like you know, really enjoying it. I, I like the Christmas it. one is just able to move forward. Mm. Mm -hmm. Kind of swimming along. Uh, did they make their safe? Um, I froze them. If they failed, they oh, all right. got frozen. That's right. Uh, they did. In that case, actually, we're going to move a couple of those back. Actually, no, like they're going to take their action to... Yeah, they have to take their action. They take their action. Was one of them the green and blue one? Uh, green and yellow. No, it was Darn. the green and yellow on Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Um, they'll, they'll, I'll say that attack did not happen. Ignore that. It I'm was cool, pure, though. You I'm still, still pure wedding. You are still <laughs> a glorious, gorgeous platypus. Yes. Your majesty cannot be contained. <laughs> exactly. So, all of us exactly. are still here for it. But they just take their action to break out and move forward. Um, <laughs> that's all they do. Uh, Camber. All right. You are invisible. All right, cool. Um... Oh boy. Yeah, uh, I am going to run five, ten, fifteen feet over here. Okay. Um, I am going to bonus action. Just out of nowhere, you all are going to see uh, a giant red and gold fist just. Emerge and zoom towards the uh, red and orange uh, creature there okay. as, I use, as I cast Hunter's Mark again. Okay. And try and at least take a straight attack at this guy now that uh, I'm invisible. Okay. So we'll see what happens with that. Ooh. Um, do we know their AC yet, friends? Mm, yes, yeah, it's we do. 12. Yeah, yeah, 12. yeah 12. Um, That will be a 13 to hit. 13 will hit. Does this break my invisibility, GM? Nope. Okay. That's awesome. Um, so, no poison. Nico can't see me, so he cannot infuse this. But I do get Hunter's Mark. So that you will be. You have a good night, Alley Slayer. You take care. Seven points of piercing. Okay. And I'll do that again. Okay. Oh, 14 to hit. That'll hit. Nine points of piercing. Okay. As that happens, mm -hmm. your hand is still on your bow, but as you pull it back, you realize that even invisible, your hand's kind of sliding through it. Next round, you will not be able to interact with the world. Oh, that's right. This shit's crazy. Okay. Um, Nico is just going to attack the orange and uh, yellow. All right. I'll say that, yeah, that's that's imp his imperative. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit. That'll hit. Um, and some lightning damage. Nine points of piercing and okay. three points lightning. Reduced to one. <clears throat> Cool, that's us. Okay. All right, Wyatt. You're still a platypus? Yeah, I'm still a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally never heard a platypus talk, so that's what. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I, yeah, I can't say I have. I feel have. like I gotta look this up, but I don't wanna get like a weird sound twitch garbage yell thro <laughs> book thrown at me. I've had a long conversation with a platypus. <laughs> I was say, people who've been to Australia, tell me. I lived in I Australia. Say, I, I say the still... side of the table that lived in Australia. Come on. <laughs> Jeffrey wants to spin the Wheel of Chaos on Camber, sure. however. Oh, so, oh, real oh, fast. Good thing I was stalling. <laughs> 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 round and round the wheel is gonna go. Where it's gonna stop, we're gonna find out. It still isn't falling on the one I want. Hilariously, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. uh, weirdly, the world can't interact with you, and you can't necessarily interact with it. Mm -hmm. However, for the next turn, you are under the effect of fairy fire, 
which negates invisibility. <laughs> I'm just a it's, neon outline. You really are. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. So <laughs> we'll see how that plays out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to rage her? Where's Fionn? Oh, I he, know. He yeah. love this. <laughs> He'll dance up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wyatt, are you done stalling? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Wyatt's, <laughs> are you sure? Well, I was going to bonus action rabbit hop off of Stonebreaker's shoulders. 5, 10, 15, landing in the muck here. Okay, yeah, as you do, the further away you seem to get from those pools, the drier the ground seems to be, but it nonetheless mm. seems to be filled with bones. I'm gonna look at, look up at Stonebreaker, <laughs> look at my <laughs> twin sibling who no longer looks like me. Oh. I'm just gonna say, please forgive me as I oh. begin running away. <laughs> and over my shoulder, I'm gonna toss a bead of force. Oh! <gasps> Falcon Destroyer, thank you so much for that raid. Let's give Falcon Destroyer a quick shout out hey. in the chat. And give yourself some oh. self promo hey. and thank yeah. you for trusting us with your community. <laughs> Welcome on in. This is the Adventurer's Pack. Uh, Never-ending Dungeons & Dragons Chaos. It does have some kind of unique rules. So if you want to hit exclamation point rules to learn a little bit more about what's happening here. But seriously, tell us a little bit more about what you were doing. We're so happy you're here. Thank you so much. Thank you so heckin' much. I have to make it. Correct me if I'm wrong, Gauntlet Master, mm -hmm. but with a 10-foot radius, if I throw it right at Stonebreaker, <laughs> <laughs> I should catch every yes. single one of them except for the blue and orange. Is there like a, it has, there's there's no your friends only, it, ta it takes everything? No, nope. everything. It's everything. everything. All right, all right, cool. Yeah, it'll hit everything. Cool. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, friends. So yeah, that's a, that's a DC 15 dexterity save from everything in that radius. Okay. I'm a platypus, y'all. <laughs> I'm me, at disadvantage. <laughs> yep. The green and yellow is a 17. Or no, sorry, the orange and yellow is a 17. The orange and purple is a 13. That's a fail. Thank you. The orange and red is a 9. Wait, do we get stuck in it too? The green and red is a 13. What's the DC I need to be 15. 15, okay. The green and blue I mean, I'm not hit point is a four. A part of it. And the yeah. green and yellow is also a four. So the yellow and orange is the only one that's it. Awesome. Uh, so the yellow and orange is pushed uh, out of the radius. Okay. Does uh, not take any damage. Moves right over there. Do you see his <laughs> as he kind of falls? What about you two? <laughs> I'm a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> so, aren't you restrained? Uh, yeah, I say it's made a dis -end. Yes, and uh, we all know how dexterous <laughs> Stonebreaker is. Okay, I'm going to have to start getting an image up here. Five. I would have done really well. If you'd well like, I, I got it. Okay. I got it. It's a five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that fails. Oh, the. Um, okay, yeah, no, that would have been in there too. Okay. Yeah, that's failures all around. What's mm. happening? That's 10 points of damage to each that failed. All right. Uh, all right. The, and it's force damage, right? Force damage, right. The orange and purple perishes. Roland checks <laughs> pan. <laughs> pen, pen, stop it. <laughs> stop, it keeps blocking my whole screen. Uh, Thank you. So the platypus takes some of my damage? Yep. Okay, so how much points? Ten. Ten. Okay, Platypus takes one. <laughs> and you take nine. I take nine. Okay. Everybody still up? Yep. Okay, so remind me, as a person who foolishly gave you <laughs> this item, remind uh, me what it does. This Any creature fantastic. that failed the save and is completely within the area is trapped inside the sphere. Creatures that succeeded on a save or partially within the area are pushed away from the center of the spear, sphere until they're no longer inside it. Only breathable air can pass through the sphere's wall. No attack or other effect can. And, and it's it, a 10 foot radius? 10 foot radius. Oh and it's God. on Stonebreaker. 
and everything that got hit by it, it's, it's kind of weird. I'm asking squares to do circles here, mm -hmm. but everything that hits got pulled in, right? Uh, anything that didn't save is like trapped inside. Anything okay. that did save got pushed out of the radius. Well, we'll, so for the sake of argument, just move these two rudderkin that are, we're just gonna do that, and then that, and that. <laughs> I think well, it would be, be it's a bigger. Yeah, it would be bigger than that. Yeah, 10 yeah. foot radius. Oh, well. you're if you right. Just click on me and give Hold me a, a radius. I'm working on it. I'm working <laughs> yeah, on it. Hold that. <laughs> I'm trying to make it easier for you. There's a <laughs> lot going on. Don't make it with the center. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. No, this is great. Mm -hmm. Now we are just in Thunderdome with these things. <laughs> like, <laughs> I figured if you survived, you were the best you to be stuck in there. So. Yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I can't magic. Um, way also, out. fun fact nope. an enclosed creature can use its action to push against the sphere's wall, moving the sphere up to half the creature's walking speed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it can also be picked up, and it only weighs one pound. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. And oh. you're not stuck in there with them. They're stuck in there with you. All right. <laughs> uh, I will note, uh, your your spell is in there. Cool. I, mean, I don't think you can use it anymore because magic can't really pass through. Whatever you want to rule. Say, I'm answer, just going to rule that it's happy. in there. So. I don't think you can move. Like it's not you. It's not going away. It's not mm. a concentration spell. But you cannot access it because magic cannot go through. Copy that. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> okay. All right. Stonebreaker. Cool. I am going to hit uh, the. Red and uh, orange one. Do I get okay. uh, a possible save on this fear thing again? Uh, fear. Oh, the fear. Yeah. Yes. The I know fear, the poison I've got. Yeah, the fears are you can't. All you right. can't do, but the fear, yes, you do. And this is also at disadvantage. Um, and it's um, wisdom. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll save them. Um, so uh, with a nine, that will fail. So I'll attack the. It's a nine on the die or a nine total? Total. Okay. Um, yes, that will fail. That is red and orange. I'm going to attack. All right. And um, cool. That's a twelve. A twelve just hits. And that is going to be fourteen points of slashing damage. That's enough. Valise, you Excellent. have a lovely night. I will say very similarly, however, you cannot access your hunter's mark inside this ball. Well, you know, it'll kind of come back to you. You can't put it on anything in the ball. Sure. But it does kind of come okay. back to you. Uh, second attack is then going to uh, blue and green. Okay. Uh, we, uh, that is a natural one. Unfortunately, all of this is very disorienting, and you whiff a little <laughs> bit, and you actually oh, yes. get stuck in a skull in the ground underneath you, and you have to pull it out, and there's just shards of bone that go flying everywhere. This map is gross. And mm -hmm. I think that will be turned then. Okay. All right, Charlie. Can we move within this sphere? Like, are we able to I like don't see walk any reason around? Why not? So, yeah, yeah you certainly sphere, can. We just can't like exit, right? Yeah, we you cannot intent. exit it. <laughs> okay, I can do intent. Um, uh, I am can you do purposes? <laughs> not all. <of> them. <laughs> um, <laughs> I almost responded and I stopped myself because I said. And my hands starting to move. <laughs> I've done it, and I know they're contagious. I, sp I stopped. Um, I am going to behave myself, and um, I am going to, with my... As a reminder, puns get a D6 put in the punishment jar. <laughs> Since we've got a bunch of new folks here tonight. Um, okay. With Since my bu or with my know. action, I'm going to hit... Which one did you hit? Green and... The one right in front of you, okay. yes. Green and, okay. Uh, I'm going to hit green and uh, blue with um, boom and blade. Okay. 14. 14 hits. Five points of slash and seven points of thunder. Well, let me double check that. Okay, that does all go through. Five, so 12 total. Um, and then bonus action, rabbit hop, there. 
Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. That's the end of your turn. Okay. Snowball has perished, bringing us to the Bajillazillion Rudderkin. Um, this is going to end very fascinatingly. Um, <laughs> they cannot see you, Camber, as you cannot interact with the world. Well, I am outlined. <laughs> so you are I outlined. see something, but... You're not yeah, wrong. Yeah, I got it. I'm just talking about <laughs> The orange and yellow is going to move up and attempt to attack you. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a straight roll. It's a 14 to hit. That'll miss. Even at a miss, though, you notice it's starting to just kind of pass through you. It can attack you, but it doesn't seem to do any damage. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Good to know. Uh -huh. Yeah, it can just barely. Because the orange and blue one seems to lope full run at you, just running for just <laughs> sound coming out of it as it spits its way forward. That leaves us with the green, boys. <laughs> um, the green and blue one's going to attack you, Stonebreaker. I love this. This is an advantage because you are restrained. Mm -hmm. That is a soft 20 to hit you. Cool. That is 10 points of piercing damage. I will stones endurance. Let's see if this actually does anything. Hey, um, I reduce its piercing. Yes. I reduce by seven, and then I reduce by another three. By 10. Uh, so that is all of it. Okay. And I realize I forgot to do my heavy armor master for my the last attack. All right, if you want to take it back, I trust you. So I heal three. Yay! <laughs> Lagrimosa, thank you so much for the follow. Hey. Welcome to the Adventures Pack. We're so happy you're here. The green and yellow is going to run up and do the exact same thing. Awesome. Yeah, that's straight. That's a uh, 12 to hit you. That will miss. All right. Okay. Then red and green's gonna come right up here to you, Charlie, and it's gonna take an attack. Regular yeah. straight roll, however. All right. Um, there we go. That is an 18 to hit you. Doesn't hit. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 19, my apologies. Shield. Okay, shield going up. Um, okay. It would have been my AC, but now my AC is 24. That is all of them. Nice. That was my free shield. Camber. Mm -hmm. You reappear. Oh boy. Um. At the end of your turn, you will be uh, not uh, no longer under the effects of fairy fire for whatever. That's sure, going. but for this turn, I gotta stay put. I think this is what uh, Fion feels like all the time, huh? <laughs> uh, I will use my bonus action to move my hunter's mark onto the uh, Bronco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fire two shots down that direction. Okay. Uh, first is a oh, 19 on the die. I'm oh. oh, sorry, disadvantage because of poison. Oh, that's um, right. Um, still fine. 24 yeah. to hit. No, 25 to hit. A 25 will hit. Come on. Nico will infuse this with a little bit of lightning. So that is going to be uh, seven points piercing. Uh, okay. Three points of lightning, which reduced is... Reduced down to one. No, no, sorry. That is the reduce. Six oh. down to three. Okay, got it. And second attack. Um, oh, also, welcome in, Dennis X Knight. Just saw you sneaking in there. Hey. Five plus eight is 13. That'll hit. Same thing, minus the lightning. 11 points of piercing. Okay. Okay. And I think that'll do. Nico's gonna now see me continue chomping away at advantage. Yeah, you do see him run up and just like, Smi all smile, tongue walls on the side. Just so excited hey, to see buddy. you. He's so happy. Like, whole body wiggles. Still not doing great. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. That'll still hit. He'll do... Six points of piercing. Okay. 
All right. That's us. That's you. Okay. Wyatt. All right. <clears throat> I'm exactly within 60 feet of Canva, so the first thing I'm going to do is twin a healing word between Ooh, us. Buddy. Okay. For max healing, that's seven points of healing to each of us. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Which is a lot more than I have. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it brings me up to 10 hit points. Uh, I am then going to start a running. Let's call it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Here. Okay. And then I'm gonna spin around and fire two Eldritch Blasts at the uh, orange and blue with and the Repelling Blast Invocation. Okay, and both of them at the orange and blue? Yep. Okay. First one's gonna be 18 on the die for 25. That'll do. For 10 points of force damage and just push 10 feet back. Okay. Next one. Oh, 13's good. Thir oh, yeah. 13 to hit. 13 to hit. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, buddy. I love identify. <laughs> <laughs> For another 10 points of force damage, another 10 feet push back. That's enough. As it actually well done, pushes man. back, you actually see it slide into the ooze, and it seems to become one with it once again. Gross. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Stonebreaker. Uh, cool. Uh, I will start with the uh, the save of uh, not being afraid, mm -hmm. and that is uh, that is once again a uh, wisdom save or con. Wisdom save. Uh, that is a nine. Okay. So uh, this is continuing to be at disadvantage on the uh, red and green one. First attack is a is a twelve. That will hit. For 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. Second attack, same one. Okay. I will use one surge to make this a 12. A 12 will hit. For 14 points of slashing damage. Which is enough. As you, again, it seems to be made of the ooze and muck underneath your feet, and you kind of smash it down back in, and it disappears. And then I will just oh, turn Christmas. to look at the other two. And that is my turn. Okay. Charlie, it is your turn. <laughs> All right. Um, first thing I'm going to do is looking around at this little bubble, be like, I may be in a bubble, but I still need to protect myself. And pirouette and recast Blade Song. Okay. Start that number over again. And then um, for my action... Um, we know fire and stuff doesn't do so well, so I'm just gonna come back into play. Five ten right there. Okay. Uh, Cause I can't go. Can I go there? Uh. Or here? Uh, I can't figure out if I can go where that thing is, where the spiritual weapon is. It's That's where spectral. I, want I mean, it is a spectral weapon. Also, I'm if it matters, like I wouldn't have been trying to keep it up the second I got cut off from it. I'm, Fair I'm enough. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. Or if you do, the attack would be at disadvantage because it's spectral. It, it's gonna be a little distracting if you stand within it to make an attack. But I can be next to it right there. Yes, absolutely. Oh. So I'm gonna go right there, and I'm gonna hit green and yellow with a boom blade. Okay. For a natural one. Mm. Oh. Uh, it's bound to happen. And that's my turn. Okay. Helping Stoney come over again. <laughs> that brings us to the Rudderkin. <laughs> Who are both going to attack Stonebreaker at advantage. Love it. The green and yellow. That is only a 15 to hit. And that will miss. The... Green and blue. That's a natural 20. Oh boy. And I can't silvery bobs inside the. You cannot. Uh -huh. Oh, I have my reaction. Yeah, silver barbs. Nice. Yeah. Um, oh, I already put away the other die. 
Um, I will say, Make sure to do that a little bit quicker next time. I am so sorry. It's okay. I was like, it's totally fine. I was like, I already used my reaction for shield. I can't do it. And then realized I just turned, went. I don't remember what the other one was. Um, sorry. I'm, just give me, okay. the, give me the crit. No, like, it's okay. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, it doesn't hit. Okay. All right. My apologies. The orange and yellow is Stop. going to attack you, Camber. Uh-huh. Actually, seeing an easier target is going to attack Nico. Sure. Yeah. That's only an 11 to hit. That will not hit. All right. That's their turn. Not today. Cool. Um, cool. Camber. Yep. Um, I will do what I can and use my bonus action to uh, move my hunter's mark onto the one between me and Nico. Okay. Um, I would like to. Give myself a bit of distance and run over here. Jeff thinks I'm feeling lucky. My next bowl will be made with a high variance die. Okay. Um, he is going to take a swipe at you. There you go. Use the high variance. Oh, yeah. Use the high variance. Come on. Come on. It's a natural 20. Oh, <laughs> Silvery like bar! Yes! <laughs> there you go! <laughs> uh, Rerolling the oh, high well, variance. Like yeah. Right. <laughs> it's only a seven. Oof! You can have that advantage. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. I will use that uh, right now on this attack. Okay. Um, that's good. That is a 25 to hit. That'll hit. Just mark. Uh, Twelve points piercing. Uh, that'll do it. Um, as it dissolves back into the muck. And I am going to then... Where'd I go? Five, ten, but also, because 15. we have two new folks in here, all the monsters in the gauntlet are constructs. <laughs> they have no motions and feel no pain. <laughs> I'll just uh, use the rest of my movement to get closer to the ball and look over to Wyatt and be like, so I can just pick it up and take it with us? That's what the, that's what the instruction oh. said. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> and I guess that's our third. <laughs> okay. Wyatt. Uh huh. So there's no more enemies outside the sphere. No. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> uh, in that case, Wyatt's going to start coming on back up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and. Uh, Desix <gasps> Knight has focused Stonebreaker, giving you plus one to your attack roll. Appreciate that. Good. Um. Well, I was just gonna hold an action in an Eldritch Blast in case something happens and the, the force field goes down early. Okay. All right. Stonebreaker. Cool. Um, doing save to not be frightened anymore. And that the, oh, hey. Um, that will be a 14. You are no longer frightened. Cool. Still at advent uh, disadvantage for being poisoned, um, but I'm going to use the advantage given by uh, Silvery, Silvery Barbs, Barbs to make this straight roll. Okay. And going against the green and yellow. Okay. Uh, you have two points of adrenaline. Th this will hit. Um, okay. It's a 16. That'll hit. And, that is and everyone else is inspired except for Stonebreaker. Oh. For 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. Second attack. Uh, is a 14 to hit. That will still hit. For 15 points of slashing damage. That's enough. As cool. it goes down. Oh All right. And uh, I will end my turn there. All right. Charlie. Um. All right. I guess I'm just going to keep hitting this guy um and i'm gonna go here and yeah because there's nowhere to get advantage and i'm gonna slash at it with my scimitar okay. casting boom and blade Oop. hey 
a natural 20. Hey, <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Somehow dropping it worked. Nope. For two twos on the dies. For seven points of slashing and four points of thunder. A crit, right? Yeah, I got two twos on the dies. Mm. <laughs> All right. It didn't roll super great. It's okay. Um, and then bonus action. I still have my shadow blade up. Okay. Hit it with the shadow blade. Uh, non natural twenty. That'll hit. You weren't nice to me before. You go over there. For eleven points, which is enough. Nice. Oh my god! The world goes dark. <laughs> I can't believe that. With happened. two of our adventurers poisoned, and two mm. of them inside of a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the bubble lasts. A minute. A minute. And but it will go it's with been you. Three. Well, I was going to say it's it been is. Three rounds. It's location based. Is it location based? Yeah, it's not on me. It's just whatever okay. it landed. <laughs> we'll so. have to find out what happens next week when I look into the wording <laughs> oh, on next boy. week's episode of The Gauntlet. I can't believe that works. Wow. <laughs> All right. I can't believe we succeeded. In that. I am going to remind you, and you're going to... Mm -hmm. For those of you who are poisoned... I just marked it in... Yep. Right. Yeah, you can write it down. Beyond. You can write okay. it in D&D &D Beyond. Yep. Okay. Well, Thank you all so much for being here tonight at the Adventurers <laughs> Pack and the Gauntlet Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons Never Ending Combat Chaos. We are so happy you are here. Y'all, we are staring down at a thousand followers. Oh my god. We are getting very close. And if you want to be a part of that, we would really love to have you. Um, the Adventurers Pack is we are some nerds sharing what we love on the internet. Um, and we are. Just very happy you're here, really, really, and truly. Um, thank you, Zag. Follow, head on over to our Discord. The tavern's pretty delightful, um, and it's where you're gonna get all of the newest and uh, latest announcements um, from what we're working on. So please go check us out. Um, if you're looking for free ways to help us out, heading over to our Discord, following us on all our social medias, telling your friends. Really, that helps a tremendous amount. Oh, BLC86, thank you so much for the follow. We Thank appreciate you. you. Welcome to the Adventures Pack. Um, the next time we're going to be live on this channel is going to be Sunday. It's more Raft, right? It, yeah. Raft. Yeah. More Raft with Pack Plays. Josh and Scott are going to be playing further into the video game Raft at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. Pacific time. And then the Gauntlet will return a week from today at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I know we got a little new folks in here. It's a rotating cast. So we will have new folks coming on in and out. Um, which one of you is trading out next week? Don't, I don't remember. I don't Josh, remember. I think? I know I'm here. I, okay. I know I'm here, too. I think it's Josh. Okay. Oh, All I right. have it up right here. It's going to be me, Jeff, Scott, RJ. Yeah. Nice. Well, we're very excited. No Sorry. What. Put you in a bubble. <laughs> 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 we're going to have to figure out what happens with the bubble. Uh -huh. I, I think Scott might be right, but I'm going to have to read into it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, Scott and I start in a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's location specific, but you are. It, We'll figure it out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it can be pushed. Thank you so much. You all take care. And we will see you all very, very soon. Goodbye. See ya. Bye. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>